Welcome back guys, hope you're doing amazing and I hope you're ready to read some lies today. This video I think is going to be every that happened video I've ever made. It's going to be a long one, it's going to be fun, I'm very excited for this. I've always loved this subreddit so much and I just really want to celebrate how good it is in this video. So without further ado, sit back, relax and I hope you enjoy. I think it was a discount for beautiful women day on the metro today. I never saw so many on a metro car at once. So I put my phone to my ear and said loudly, hey, no, I don't care what happened, man. You need to understand that there's no such thing as her having too many shoes. You need to apologize to her. I got four numbers by the end of my 20 minute trip without saying another word. <laughs> and then we all went back to my place. I'm also a millionaire waiter. <laughs> I'm an absolute legend. I don't think anybody is going to read that and think it's true. You could show that to like your 70 your old grandfather and they're not going to think that's real. Like, it's so obviously fake. You're so obviously trying to get attention to make yourself feel better. Like, <laughs> just stop it. It's sad. Everyone who reads this is just like, oh, cool, bro. And also, if that was true, who cares? <laughs> My enemy challenged me to a singing battle and well, let's just say that I have a dark side. As in, I literally share a body with a demon. If you don't believe me, that's fine. No one else does until they see proof. I sang this song and my demon kinda took over. It wasn't pretty and I got expelled, but it was kinda cool. What do you mean you were singing and your demon took over? I don't even know what you mean. And calling somebody your enemy? <laughs> oh, that's so entitled. My arch nemesis that everybody knows about. I am the action hero in this movie. Well, if you don't believe that I have a demon, that's fine. No one else does until they see proof. What proof? <laughs> what are you possibly going to do? A Dementor from Harry Potter comes out of my body. What possible proof is going to happen? What are you talking about? And what sort of a demon sings? <laughs> I don't know, just there's two separate lines. One line is out the door long and the other line is completely empty. I choose the empty line and ask the case if there is two separate lines? He goes, yeah, one for smart people, the leaders like you, and the other one for the dumb sheep. I just sit back and watch the nonsense all the time. I felt like I was part of some social experiment or something. <laughs> yeah, a social experiment for being a smart leader amongst a whole bunch of dumb sheep. <laughs> I'm better than you. It's so fake and so obviously fake. And you know it's fake because they're trying to make themselves seem better than they are. In this case, they're trying to act like they're smarter than everyone else. And the other ones, they're trying Trying to act like they're prettier, trying to act like they're cooler, trying to act like, you know, whatever, richer, I'm a millionaire, you're not, I'm smart, you're not. Dude, we're all boring, okay? <laughs> Me trying to connect my Bluetooth headphones to my phone. Bluetooth headphones connecting to a different phone. Me wondering why I can't hear my music. Turns up the volume to the max. Blast Sasagayo? Sasagayo in public. Weebs rising and singing along. A whole crowd of weebs gather to sing. Me cried in embarrassment, but is also proud of the situation I made. True story. <laughs> story yeah ha! it was like a movie <laughs> i'm so interesting okay bro someone else connected to your bluetooth you started playing music <laughs> people started singing along and then everyone clapped speedway just now only one other person in the store i walk in and go straight to the register cashier no mask me yours works doesn't it well you're supposed to have one says who what never mind i have a condition that precludes me from wearing one really yeah it's called an overabundance of functioning brain cells cashier with a big sigh what can I get you? The other customer in the store discreetly removes his mask and sticks it in his pocket. Like, wow, bro, you're so inspirational. <laughs> you inspired other people to take their mask off as well. This could have happened. You could have had a hissy fit in a shop. Absolutely. I don't doubt that for a second. <laughs> this subreddit has a lot of, like, anti-mask, anti-vax sort of stuff. I'm trying to... I'm trying not to include much of that because it gets old pretty quick. I caught them all in the act. I'm wearing a Pokemon shirt to my chemistry class and playing a Pokemon emulator as I wait for class to start. The teacher comes over to me. Isn't Pokemon for little kids? You seem a little old for it. Not really. A lot of high school students play Pokemon. Yeah, but why? Because I want to be the very best. Student 1, like no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. Student 3, to train them is my cause. More students join in until we finish singing the theme song and our teacher is looking really fed up. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. 
like, you guys are too childish for me. After he said this, he walked out of the class and wasn't seen for the rest of the day. Oh yeah, because that's what a teacher would do. He wouldn't care. He's your teacher. He's got a teacher. It's his job. <laughs> that's so lame. Come on, dude. Your teacher probably told you to stop playing your Pokemon emulator. That's probably all that happened. <laughs> and then this epic moment happened where everybody started singing the Pokemon theme song. We sure showed him. I don't know, man. I just feel like when you're really bored and like you want something cool to happen, you might write something like this. But it's so obvious that it didn't happen. Just had a stranger pull over with his wife and kids in his car to inform me that I look like a beast and must have a home gym and that the gyms are opening up September 1st. I don't have a home gym, but I'll take it. Don't cross a savage. Okay, you savage. <laughs> Oh god, I think we're all a little bit savage. This is the lad version of it. Dude, my bro, this random guy stopped with his girl and his kids and told me I looked buff today. <laughs> well, I uh, couldn't say he was wrong. <laughs> look at these biceps. Okay, bro, like just go ahead and say that you look good today. You don't have to make a story up around it. So my day cancelled on me last minute. Decided to still come to the metro on my own. Sat down at TGI's to get some food and the waiter, who by the way is fitter than my original date, asked for my my number and came and sat with me after his shift. You win some, you lose some. <laughs> or did you just lose this one and you're trying to make something up? Got a feeling nothing actually happened, but you wish something happened, so you're lying about it. <laughs> I'm seeing a trend here, guys. People that wanted something to happen or want to be viewed a certain way by their friends online, so they make up stories. So I wish I cared that much about what people thought about me. <laughs> I couldn't care less. Who cares if your friends on Facebook think you're cool or not? My first word was Baghdad. My my mum was watching Jeopardy and I correctly answered the capital of Iraq. How old were you? Oh, I want to say about six months. And you can't even spell capital right. <laughs> but at six months old, you knew that Baghdad was the capital of Iraq. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, bro. Absolute genius right there. What happened? <laughs> you used to be so smart. Can we talk about that one time I was nine and I randomly went up to my neighbor and went, you're going to have twin girls. And she looked at me crazy. And a year later, she got pregnant with twin girls. No, I don't want to talk about it. Because <laughs> it probably didn't happen. You know, that one's not as bad. Maybe that did happen. But it probably didn't. Guys, I'm going to leave this video here. I really hope you enjoyed it. That was the first episode of That Happened. Let me know if you enjoyed it and you want to see another video on this subreddit. I had a whole bunch of fun. I love this subreddit. Thank you so much for watching and thanks for all your support. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below what you thought. Subscribe if you're new because I make videos twice a day. I'm sure you'll enjoy my next one. Okay, so I was driving around this morning and blasting metal music as usual. I was wanting to stop at Publix. I noticed that a lady had been following me all the way into the parking lot and when I parked, she pulled up beside me blurring her Christian music and staring at me in disappointment for whatever reason. So I proceeded to turn my music up louder as I got out of the car and lifted my skirt to show my <laughs> flick her off and then went about my day to go get groceries. <laughs> I'm sure that happened. And apparently this girl always has a witty story to share. The ones that she makes up, yeah, they're so good. So you're saying you left your metal music playing in the car while you went and did your groceries? You just left the car running or something? You just left the ignition on with your metal music blaring. That sounds like a dumb thing to do. It just really doesn't sound like it happened. I'm sorry. Even if this did happen. Oh yeah, I pull up my skirt, show my ass, and then flip them off. <laughs> right after you blare your metal music. Sounds like someone you want to spend your time with. Absolutely. Cops pulled me up. I told them who I was and then they bounced. LMAO. And there was clapping in the distance. Yeah, sure, bro. And like, who are you? What are you talking about? Either you're a liar. Oh, that's a really bad cop. But I think we know what the answer is. As a student, we were assigned to draw something we didn't like. I proceeded to draw an incredibly detailed picture of the art teacher. His reaction to a mirror image of him when grading was priceless. I got an A because even though the assignment was of something we hate, it was the most detailed drawing he ever saw come out of the ninth grade art class. <laughs> oh, that sounds so bad. And the way I just read that with the voice, that's exactly how that sounds. Dude, I was an art student and I did this incredible drawing. It's pretty much like the Mona Lisa man. I'm basically Michelangelo and Da Vinci rolled into one. I am incredible. I am the best thing that ever came out of ninth grade art class. Absolutely. Not saying that this person isn't a great artist. They probably are, but just don't go to Reddit to brag about it. Jesus. If you ever feel sad, just remember that my friend and his girlfriend peeled 102 garlic cloves for a recipe and then realized it said one 
or two garlic cloves. I refuse to believe anyone's that dumb. <laughs> this is going to be quite garlicky. Are you sure the recipe's right? Oh no, what's that? It said one or two, not a hundred and two. Damn it, I'm really upset that we just spent like a hundred dollars on garlic. I should have known something was wrong. My sister called me a weeb. I stole her phone and changed her ringtone to this. I then proceeded to call her while she was talking to her crush. Update, her crush was a bit freaked out of her ringtone and proceeded to just stay friends. Mission accomplished. Why would you lie about that? My sister called me a weeb, so I ruined her relationship with the person she likes. That sucks. Don't do that. That's horrible. But in saying that, if a guy is willing to not date you because of your ringtone, <laughs> you don't need him. Have you ever made an entire movie theater laugh? In Fifty Shades of Grey, during the scene where the guy is showing the girl his bondage room for the first time, the theater grew very quiet. As the camera panned the room with no dialogue, I said rather loudly, Hey hun, look, it's just like our room back home. That line got a huge laugh by most of the few hundred in attendance. What movie theater has a few hundred people in it? Every time I've ever been to the cinema, there's been like 20 people in there max. A few hundred. And like what? Every single one of them laughed. Dude, you're so hilarious. <laughs> nah, bro, you had to be there. You know, like it doesn't sound funny when you type it out on Reddit, but trust me, I made most of the few hundred people at the movie theater laugh. <laughs> okay. My art teacher at school told me I was the most useless person in the school and that I should drop out of art class because I would amount to nothing in the field. She also said I couldn't grasp even the fundamentals of shading. But then I drew this and I think it's actually good. And damn it, I'm proud of myself. Yeah, what looks funny about that, guys? It's literally a photo with an oil pastel filter over it. <laughs> you didn't draw that, bro. Stop lying. God damn it, dude. <laughs> How bad would you feel about yourself if you wrote this little story and then still posted a picture of something that you didn't actually draw? Oh, dude. And it got like 4,000 likes too. That's insane. I use an app called PixArt for my thumbnail. I make all my thumbnails on my phone. And there's filters on there that look just like that. You know, <laughs> there's no way you drew that, bro. And also, even if he did draw it, it's not a drawing. It'd be a painting. So yeah, <laughs> nice try, bro. He ran all the way from home to be there on her special day. <laughs> That's bloody adorable. It's more than likely not true, but I don't care. It totally might be true. They might not actually live that far away. Dogs are pretty incredible and they do surprise you. But even if this is fake, I still love it because I love dogs. A little story. I came back from a business trip late at night at my house. My ex-wife didn't know and as I entered the house, I realized that she was with another man. I quietly sat at my piano and played this. They got the fright of their life. Really, bro? You're gonna make up that sort of story? It sounds like some sort of John Wick thing. I sat and played the piano. Then I put out my Uzi and that was the end of them. Like, okay, man, that's kind of really sad. And you were not on a bloody business trip. That's what they all say. Like I was out on my private jet. I was making epic business deals. I made a measly $3 million that day and then I came home late to my palace in Europe and my ex-wife was there with another man. And then I played the piano because this is my action movie. And then they gave me a round of applause and she slept with me. Like, it's just so obvious at this point. This person probably has never been on a business trip. They're probably like 14. Exchange I just had with a nurse. Nurse, wow, we're the same age and you look so much younger than me. Me absent-mindedly answering, do you have kids? Yeah, three. That's why. This reinforced my child-free status. Oh, wow, you're really rude. That's pretty much all you're telling everyone. God, that's awful. And why would you say that about somebody? And better still, why would you brag about that? Now everyone knows that you're just not very nice. <laughs> very good, bro. Okay, so if you didn't know, I have a pet fly named Steven. He's been in my truck for four days now. He's really cool. We talk all day. Sometimes I get scared that he'll fly out the window or the door, but he's pretty loyal. A little bit ago, I had both windows down to get some fresh air, and I seen what looked like Steven fly the coop. I literally yelled, Steven! Closed the windows and was calling his name for like five minutes. He was gone. He was gone, and I was alone again. I get to my shipper, and I'm just floating around in a haze. I get back in my truck and close the door. Next thing I know, something lands on my steering wheel. It's Steven! He did a little fly dance and flew on my glasses and danced some more. I told him that I thought I lost you, buddy. You're the coolest fly ever. Bump my fist. I held out my fist. He flew over, landed on my knuckles and flew off. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, God damn it, dude. He didn't even try and make that sound convincing. Okay, so this girl was talking about a subscriber from her OnlyFans. A sub recognized me in a bookstore today, so I immediately grabbed 12 books, set it on the counter, told him to take out his card, and he did. <laughs> that actually might have happened. He's already paying for your OnlyFans. I'm sure he would happily buy you some books. If he actually did that as a joke, that's actually really funny. And then just be like, oh, just kidding, you know, because you're getting your card out every month for me anyway. That might have happened. Am I wrong in thinking that? Maybe that happened. I, I kind of hope
hope it did because it's funny, but it probably didn't. Who asked? Maybe don't be disrespectful to people with upper class jobs and positions in society like I do. You should never disrespect a lawyer because he can one day screw your life over. Me and my lawyer put this one shop owner in crippling debt because we felt like it after he decided giving me attitude was a good idea. You want to be the next one, buddy boy? <laughs> Who would think that was a good thing to post online? If this person doesn't own their own law firm, they're probably going to get sacked. And rightfully so. Oh my god. Imagine having a lawyer like that. <laughs> That's so awful. All I can hope is they're just full of crap and they're not actually a lawyer. Because if a lawyer is doing stuff like that and putting somebody in crippling debt and laughing about it on Reddit, oh my god, what an awful person. <laughs> Buddy boy. <laughs> you know, like, it's more than likely just some guy on Reddit that's trying to make himself feel big. So I guess we can rest easy. I'm a bit of a punk and my usual outfits are are either a baggy ripped t-shirt, plaid skirts or torn jeans and leather jackets, etc. I get some stares from others and nasty comments, but I usually keep myself pretty composed. That was until today in Target when I was paying for something and the cashier literally said to my face, we don't serve your kind here. This pissed me completely off and I got right up in her grill and said, are you mad because you couldn't pull this look off? Blank. She looked completely defeated and I just smirked. Lit a cigarette up and walked out of the store. One of the guys behind me high-fived me as I walked out. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure that happened. I really, really am. If you're starting your essay here with I'm a bit of a punk, <laughs> you're already like, yeah, I'm pretty tough. Don't mess with me or I'll light a cigarette and then leave the store. Surely nobody would ever say that. We don't serve your kind here. What do you mean? <laughs> what are you talking about? And I don't think anybody is going to think that, are they? I hope not anyway. I played Battleship with my eight-year-old son and he made his guesses spell out, I love you. Aww. Isn't that beautiful? Is this one trying to brag about how smart your son is or that he loves you. <laughs> oh, my son loves me and yours doesn't. <laughs> nah, it's definitely meant to be like, my son is a mega genius and yours isn't. No, like, absolutely, that's amazing. It definitely didn't happen, but that's amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry if some of these things actually did happen and you ended up in one of these videos. You can be pretty certain that most of these are fake because they're trying to make them out to be better than they are. Like, look what my son did. He's only eight and he's so smart. He did this. I ended up in one street fight because some guy was disrespecting my uncle for serving in the military and called my mum a B word. He woke up in a hospital shortly after that and the cop looked at me and said he deserved it and let me go. I'll BRB. R slash that happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it did, bro. He deserved it. I live in an action movie. My name is John Wick. <laughs> like, dude, I'm just the biggest badass ever. Don't mess with me or you will end up in hospital. Okay, I have no doubt in the world that that one is fake. Disrespect my uncle and my mum. End up in hospital. Not me twerking in my Zoom class forgetting my camera was on turn it up. Everyone was laughing, man. The only reason I found out everyone saw was when my phone was blowing up with calls and texts saying like, yo, your camera was on. LMFAO, you turned. What the hell? How you move it like that? And I was so confused. Here I am with the damn camera on, freaking twerking. I logged off so mother effing fast. Didn't go back on until two days later. I will never, ever, ever forget that day. Edit. When I went back to school, my teacher put me in the thing called a breakout room and told me not to be doing inappropriate stuff and to learn to turn my camera camera off at certain times. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, chill. Wait, so you were just randomly twerking in your room? Like, <laughs> just shaking it in my free time. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, what? Dude, and then my phone started blowing up. Yo, your camera's on, LMFAO. What the hell? How do you move it like that? How do you move it like that? That's where you lost me. Actually, no, you lost me a lot before that. <laughs> but saying how you move it like that, you know, oh my God, this girl is so talented. In every single one of these lies, they paint themselves out to be better than they are. Everyone just gave me a round of applause and said, oh my God, how can you twerk so good? I'm sure that happened. I really am. My teacher had used one of her leave days to go to a club and she was supposed to have an assistant teacher come in her place. The assistant teacher didn't show up, so she taught us from the club she was at, online school. You could literally hear guys trying to chat her up as she taught us. Wait, so this teacher was at a nightclub and what brought her computer and just sat there and it was quiet enough at the club that she could do a Zoom class with you guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure, dude. See what I mean? What a weird thing to make up. Like, who even thinks of that? let alone wants to brag about it. Do they really want to brag or are they just bored and they want people to think that they're doing something interesting? Like, oh my God, today was so interesting, bro. You will never believe it. One of our teachers Zoomed us and taught us from a nightclub. It was insane. I don't know how many times I've said this, but we are all boring <laughs> and it's absolutely fine. You don't need to make stuff up to make yourself feel better. Lol, I was shopping and a guy came up to me and said, stop looking so seductive, LMAO. I'm like, excuse me, lol. He said, I'm being serious. Your eyes are very seductive looking and intense. Okay, LMAO. Yeah, that definitely happened. 
happen, didn't it? <laughs> oh my god, stop being so beautiful, rich, and successful. Oh my god, stop it. <laughs> like, it's just tiring at this point. They're all just trying to make themselves feel better. They're just trying to rub it into your Facebook friends. That's sad. Come on. I'm literally so perfect and beautiful, and my eyes are so seductive and gorgeous that I have people coming up to me and telling me that. Oh my god. You know that's fake because no one cares enough to do something like that. No one would ever do that. <laughs> Everybody who's out and about is just busy doing their own thing. They don't care about what you're doing. But I don't know. You know, maybe that happened. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, maybe. Just kidding. Definitely didn't happen. My oldest was bald as a cue ball for almost two years. I'd tape a bow on her head. One day a lady gave me the cute little boy line and I just pulled her diaper off and showed her a little girl. She's 50 now and this story embarrasses her to death. Wait, when did you have her? When you were like 19, 20? And you're on Facebook still telling this story because it embarrasses her to death. Okay. I really hope that's not true. I really hope you weren't just like lashing your baby at people. And if she's 50 now, I guess like maybe that was acceptable back then. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like this one probably is true because like, why would you make that up? There's really nothing to gain here. Humans are such apex predators that we think getting scared like prey is fun and entertaining. Yeah, only when we have the control and know that it's not really dangerous. That's where you're wrong. I once outran the entire university police force and their German shepherds when I was a freshman in college. I had no control over the situation and that's what made it so fun. They would have beaten the crap out of me if they would have caught me, especially the dogs. Universities have police forces? <laughs> Surely there'd be like three of them, come on. I'd almost buy it if you said you outran some cops, but not German shepherds, bro. There's just no way, okay? <laughs> that did not happen. But at the same time, why'd you make that up? I would love to interview some of these people. Nephews on punishment for the rest of 2020. Somebody come look at this. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure your nephew made that. That's hilarious if your nephew made that. I just don't think that's the case. And what, your nephew's been hanging out at strip clubs? <laughs> or playing too much Grand Theft Auto 5? I don't understand. Go in the quiet corner, little Timmy. What are you talking about? I ran into an old friend from high school this summer. When I found out he was a pilot, I locked my arm in his and said, you're my new best friend. Then I said, here's why. I'm a flat earther. Is the earth flat or is it a ball? He said, well, it looks flat-ish. I said, okay, there is a lot of arguing and debating. Sphere believers always ask why pilots don't say the earth is flat. He pulled me aside and whispered, we took an oath and if we break it, we lose our pilot's license. I whispered back, thank you. Out of respect, I will never say his name. You can believe me or call me a liar. It makes zero difference to me. Some things are true if you believe it or not. <laughs> you don't have to be a pilot to look out the window of a plane. <laughs> what a moron. <laughs> the earth is not flat, okay? I understand that you're bored and you want something to do, but this isn't it. You know you had good sex when you walk outside and the neighbors start clapping. Oh my God. The creepiest neighbors of all time. Like, yeah, buddy, well done in there. Dude, I would move away so quick. They would have to be the creepiest neighbors of all time to do that because any normal neighbor would hate that. They'd be like, yuck, dude, I've got to go out for a drive because the neighbors are banging and I can hear it. That just makes me feel icky and gross. I don't like that sort of stuff. People that would purposely do that really loud so other people can hear. <laughs> Get the hell away from me. My professor handed back our three-page film essays. To my surprise, I got a C. After class, I asked her why. You were supposed to write it about the movie The Emperor of Time. You wrote it on The Emperor's New Groove, but it was kind of good, so I didn't fail you. So that's how I'm doing. <laughs> So that's how I'm doing. Yeah, man, things are going good for me. Really, I'm good at English. <laughs> like, what's the payoff here? Who cares? I don't care that you're good at English. Does anybody else? No. I guess they're just trying to get likes and stuff. But dude, I wouldn't like that. Who would like that? I interviewed this guy right now and he said, since I know I'm not going to get the job because I won't pass the drug test, I just want to tell you that because you're a pretty girl holding interviews alone in an office, this looks like a scene straight out of Pornhub. Bro, it's barely my third day out here. <laughs> what? Why? What was the point of that? I can't imagine anyone saying that. I don't really doubt that that happened, but I doubt that this girl tweeted that. Like, it's written like a lie, you know? But that might have happened. You would interview a lot of characters, I'm sure. I'm on the fence with this one. What do you guys reckon? Bro, what the hell? I was walking around nude like I do, and I had the camera flipped the wrong way, and I accidentally sent some girl a picture of my ding dong, and then I was like, oh my god, sorry, that was an accident. And then she was like, damn, that's okay. I wasn't expecting it, but it's pretty big, so it's okay. Yeah, sounds made up. <laughs> what? No, I'm not even joking. This is the biggest flex ever. Yes, you are. That didn't happen. Bro, I was 
just walking around naked like I do, you know, and just snapped a picture of my massive ding dong. I have no doubt in the world that that's fake. <laughs> Think about something that a young guy would try and make up. Them having a big ding dong, like that's so obvious. I brought my six year old son to watch Ice Age 4. When we were inside the movie theater, there were these three really annoying teenage girls who kept on spoiling each scene before it even happened. And they were beside us. As everyone tried to keep their calm and not fight the three girls, my son randomly told me something. Hey daddy, he asked. Yup, I answered. Miss Miller, his preschool teacher, taught us respect today. That's good, I answered back softly. Daddy, he asked again. Yeah. Does everyone go to preschool? He suspiciously asked. Usually, why? Because why can't the girls beside us show respect? I froze when I heard him say this. Everyone in the theater started clapping for my son. I have never been so proud of him. <laughs> Do you even have a son? <laughs> Everyone in the movie theater started clapping. <laughs> no, they didn't. You're making it out like your life's a movie. This did not happen. There's a lot of bragging ones on here that are about their kids. And dude, there's no way that happened. Oh, my son, he's just so much smarter than yours. It's hard to believe that at that age he could be such a genius, but it's true, yes. He's a little angel. <laughs> he has a 175 IQ. <laughs> I was in Hot Topic and this girl raw deed at my boyfriend. I bit my lip ring so she knew what was up. She bit her snake bites and rubbed up against her friend for comfort. I got closer and I bit my lip ring again. She hissed and retreated to the band tea aisle. My boyfriend bit his hoodie sleeve and said, Meow! <laughs> it appears I've won this battle. <laughs> I don't care that that didn't happen. That's so funny. I don't mind when they make stuff up, but it's actually funny. I'm, I'm actually addicted to this subreddit. Lions can hunt and kill their own food by the time they're three months old. My three-year-old couldn't find her lunchbox and it was in her other hand. I can't believe we're at the top of the food chain. My three-year-old can hit a target at 20 meters with a 22. That's why we're at the top of the food chain. <laughs> Your three-year-old shooting a 22 rifle. Oh my God. <laughs> You're kind of right in a way. If we didn't have houses and we didn't have weapons and we didn't know how to cook food, we definitely would not be at the top of the food chain. <laughs> Is this the same kid that was at preschool and learning about respect? How are all these kids such geniuses? I don't understand it. It's almost like somebody is trying to be different. No, that couldn't be it, could it? Look at me. I'm better than you. I was the only kid in my junior English class that knew what a gerund was. My teacher was so shocked, he made me take honors the next year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's really just so hilarious how smart I am, you know? <laughs> it makes me crack up sometimes how much better I am than everyone else. <laughs> That's what that sounds like. And like this top comment says, she basically just revealed that being in honors didn't mean anything in her school system. <laughs> like, she might not even be lying. She might just go to a bad school. My grandma hates me me. Yesterday, I told my grandma that I could code and she stared at me for a minute and asked my mum if they could talk. A few days ago, me being a curious and idiotic teenager, I'd gone and wired up the house with microphones so I would be able to listen to anything anybody said. I heard my grandma yelling at my mum, telling her that men don't like smart girls and to stop her from learning too much and that I could have a good marriage with a good man. She then said that girl is already black. It will be very hard to find her a groom. I shut off my devices after after that comment. Why? Why can't a girl be smart and have her own identity? I hate my grandma. Edit. Yes, I'm Indian. Edit too. My family knows I wired up my house and I keep my microphones off most of the time and usually only listen into my brother's room. That too because he got a girlfriend and I'm afraid he'll blow it because he's a huge dork who doesn't know anything about girls. You've wired up the whole house with microphones? <laughs> Are you sure? And if this is true, don't put a microphone in your brother's room and listen to him talk about girls. <laughs> Do you know how unhealthy healthy of a relationship that is. How about just talk to your brother? But it's okay because I'm sure this didn't happen. A potential employer during my interview found out that I had an OnlyFans. I sat stiff ready for her to say, we can't hire you. She looks me dead in the eyes and gives me a chuckle and says, oh honey, the job is yours if you want it. What you do once you leave here is your business and your resume shines. I know you'll do well here. She leans in close over the table and whispers, I just want to know if you can help me and my husband. Can you give us tips and advice because we just started one and I've been looking to add OnlyFans fans as a side hustle for months. I didn't know whether to laugh or cry. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sure you didn't, did ya? During the interview, found out that she had an OnlyFans. During. <laughs> Gee, I wonder how that 
could have happened. Yeah, the whole thing just doesn't make too much sense, does it? Could this be a lie? Oh, I don't know, maybe. My boyfriend was eager to meet my mum despite my various protests. I pulled into the parking lot of the cemetery where she's buried, expecting him to completely freak out. When we approached her grave, he sat down, he said hello, and he talked with her for an hour about how lucky he was to have me. I'm not crying, my eyes are just sweating. As sweet as that would be if it was true, I still feel like it's not true. An hour is a really, really long time to be doing that. Yeah, like this comment, even if you ignore the fact that this girl hid the fact that her mum was dead for seemingly no reason, how the hell did he spend an hour effectively talking to himself? Yeah! Yeah, that's right. I got a feeling he didn't. Slept with 12 different women today. That's a new record, even for me. A few of them said I was so big that I was the best they'll ever have. <laughs> oh, man. What 14-year-old boy wrote that? That's a new record, even for me. <laughs> oh, get out of here, dude. I'm a feminist, but when walking past a boy's secondary school today, one of the boys called for me to throw their football back over the very high fence. I responded, there's no way I can get it over that fence. To which he said, but feminist Feminism, miss, use your girl power. 60 teenage boys then gathered on the other side of the fence shouting encouragement and chanted, Feminism! Suffragettes! While I repeatedly attempted to throw and then cheered and applauded when I succeeded. The kids are alright. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Dude, no group of teenage boys is doing that. I'm sorry. This is bloody addictive. The weirdest lesson that you ever had at school. A class on drugs in which I had to correct the teacher a lot and then got offered to take over in that class. Why don't you teach the class scenario? So I did. And I did awesome explaining how come downs work, using a diagram on the board and explaining how it can correlate with tolerance and addiction before being told to sit back down. <laughs> with the two badass emojis. Hell yeah, bro. You absolutely savage. Like, you know, maybe that did happen. I don't know. I feel like they just wrote this to make themselves look really cool. That's how you know it's a lie. Hey, look at me. I'm super cool. Ha ha ha. If they brag too much, it's definitely a lie. Yesterday, me at Costco with no mask on. Oh, here we go. Me walking around living my best life. <laughs> Employee, excuse me, ma'am. Me, oh, hi. Employee pulls his mask down. I wanted to thank you for not wearing a mask. Me, taken back. I really appreciate you going maskless. It's very brave of you to stand up for your rights. Please keep up the fight. Me, thank you. Freedom is taken for granted. We had to fight for it and apparently we're going to have to fight even harder to keep it. I'm more than willing to do my part. Air high five. Now when I leave the house, I'm going to wear a cape because I'm kind of seen as a superhero. <laughs> Oh god, I couldn't hold it in. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh that entire thing. Oh my god. You know, as soon as you can smell the agenda, you should just get the hell out of there. These people just have something to say, but they don't know how to say it. So they just make up a story around it. Like, dude, come on, just say what you want to say. Like that first one, it's like, oh, I look so good today that someone told me I need to take a picture of myself. It's like, dude, just put a picture up and say, I look good today. Stop trying to hide everything with your lies. What made the popular kid popular in your school? Ex-popular kid here someone pants me in the locker room and let's just say when people see a monster <laughs> <laughs> Word spread fast. I was so popular when I was in school because I had a huge ding dong. <laughs> ah, God. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'd almost give that a like just because it's so funny. And that's like the most obvious lie that we've had all day today. <laughs> Didn't even try to make it sound believable. It's like, nah, I just had a massive ding dong. That's why everyone liked me. Yeah, bro, I think you're confusing real life with a dream you had. I once began working at a Walmart. My first day of orientation, they made a stand in a circle like this in the back room and I kid you not bend our legs and make crab hands like Mr. Krabs and sing what do we like we like money <laughs> and I never went back to work there my boss looked like a female George Washington <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> what would female George Washington look like? I'm so confused right now. This one might actually be true because I know I've seen videos online of Walmart doing like super weird, you know, like, what are they called? You know, stuff like this. Yeah, like this comment here. Fun fact, Walmarts do usually do morning motivation routines and they look awful. I was watching one that was like a Walmart version of that song, We Will Rock You. And they were just like talking about savings and like helping customers and stuff. <laughs> My mum works for the NHS and had to have a meeting about a criminal damage charge on her record. Smashed her ex's car windscreen years ago. And the man who interviewed her was like, yes, get him, girl. <laughs> 
and he immediately lost his job. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to brag about. So is that true? And this guy is just really awful at his job? <laughs> or really good, depends which way you look at it. Or is this definitely a lie? My eyes are green, but they change to blue, gray, and gold depending on my mood, health, and certain colors also influence them. I quite often have one green eye and one blue eye. No, you don't. <laughs> There's no way. My eyes are green, but they change to blue, gray, and gold depending on my mood. <laughs> When I'm happy, my eyes are blue. When I'm angry, they're green. And when I'm sad, they're grey. <laughs> what a load of crap. Destroyed someone in an argument. We were in a Zoom and I noticed someone with a cross on their necklace. I told him, take that off. You're just supporting an imaginary man. And LMAO, he couldn't even come up with a good argument. He just responded, you don't believe in him and I respect that. But I do believe in him. I just replied with, I don't believe in him because I do not bother myself with such dumb things. I almost revealed my true intelligence and absolutely destroyed him, but the teacher kicked me out because she's a snowflake too. <laughs> oh yeah, sure she's a snowflake, and so is everyone who disagrees with you, aren't they bro? Just like this comment says, revealed my true intelligence. For the rest of their life, this kid will probably honestly believe that they have no friends because they're too smart. Yeah, I can see it already. And that's just not the right thing to do. If somebody is religious and you're not, don't say take that off, you're just supporting an imaginary man. It's not your place to say that. <laughs> you know, know your place, have some respect, bro. And it doesn't sound like you're very smart. <laughs> this lie is collapsing. Y'all, I hit somebody's car at Walmart and her son got out of the car and said, just go, she doesn't have insurance. I literally can't. <laughs> I literally can't read another post today. My cousin just bought a $1.4 million house. She offered me a job in her company, 100K plus a year. And I was like, nope, lol, hashtag self-made. Now listen, I'm not calling you a liar, but I don't know how to finish this sentence. <laughs> well, I'm not calling you a liar, but... But I can't think of a way to finish that sentence. Like, yeah, maybe. But I just don't think that that's true, you know? Everyone in the comments is saying that they're probably in a pyramid scheme. <laughs> and that's probably about right. I just can't imagine that if this was true, you'd be posting about it on Snapchat. You know? And then being like, hashtag self-made. Hey, do you want a job at my company? No, lol. I don't know what to think here, you know? If somebody offered me a company job, I wouldn't take it because I'd rather do this. But I wouldn't be like, oh, hashtag self-made. <laughs> I have no idea. I broke the dress code at my last firm because of shoes. I got called to the carpet for wearing black sketches to work. So I started coming in every day dressed to the nines. We're talking cufflinks, high quality silk ties, gold face, metal band watch, pocket squares, some of the finest bourbon wingtips you ever laid eyes on. I got tailored dress shirts and custom suit cut for frick's sake. It wasn't cheap. I did this every day while making sure to casually point out that the very managers who complained about me were wearing keds in the office. This went on for a few months. The interns and staff started dressing like me. We started comparing notes on ties knots and pocket square folds. Sorry, can we just think about that for a second? You're comparing notes on tie knots and pocket square folds. What notes are you going to write about a pocket square fold? <laughs> oh, yes, I have some notes on the pocket square folds. I think we could improve them in this way and this way. No way. We got high and tight haircuts with straight razor shaves. We bought badger hair shaving brushes and eucalyptus shaving soap. The partners started getting embarrassed as we were dressing considerably nicer than they cared to. They had a big meeting and declared the entire dress code dead. Jeans, t-shirts, flip-flops. All fair game unless you had a client meeting. Oh yeah. <laughs> and God knows how, but that has 20,000 likes. What? How did 20,000 people read that and be like, yeah, that happened? <laughs> no way. Yeah, let me drop like 10k on multiple tailored two-piece suits, silks, professional hair care, and leather shoes to own the higher-ups. All of my co-workers will follow suit due to my incredible charm, of course. Yeah, that just didn't happen, did it? <laughs> I just dressed so much better than them that they changed the dress code because I'm that stylish. I just passed a couple in town. The lad had spent at least 30 pounds on his haircut, had a coat with a silly fluffy hood, the tightest jeans you've ever seen and reeked of jube. Yet for all his grand, grandeur, grandeur? <laughs> Why have I never seen that word before? His missus couldn't stop staring at me in a way they'll probably argue about later. <laughs> I'm just so perfect and so attractive <laughs> that literally every girl that walks past me just gives me that look. I'm an alpha male. I am a Chad. What's the bet this person didn't even go outside today? I just don't think this happened. Maybe you did walk past this couple, but I doubt that that girl was looking at you like that. And maybe she was looking at you, but maybe she wasn't really giving you that kind of look. Maybe she was looking at you like, what the hell are you doing? Why are you staring at my boyfriend? You're analyzing everything that my boyfriend's wearing. I can see that happening too. No, she just gave me so 
so much attention, she couldn't stop staring at me. <laughs> yeah, for the wrong reasons, man. This lady at Jumba Juice just cut me in line, and the worker saw. So when it was my time to order, he goes, Congratulations, you were the 18th customer today. You get a free drink of choice. OMFG, her face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can picture her face right now. Non-existed. <laughs> Wait a second, this lady at Jumba Juice just cut me in line, as if she was in the wrong. Right. Maybe that happened. Maybe. I don't know. I actually don't know now. I was confused. I was thinking that she was talking about this lady that let her go in front of her, but she's talking about somebody else cutting in front of her. Yeah, and then the worker there would have saw it and been like, yeah, that's not okay. So they would have given her a free drink. Okay, maybe. We'll chuck that one in the maybe pile. I was at the skate park when I was 16 and these 14 and 15 year old mob came with their BMXs and started destroying the skate equipment. So I beat the hell out of them and then ran away. And then everyone clapped. I just beat the absolute hell out of these guys. And then I ran away cutely. <laughs> and what do you mean destroying skate equipment? What can you really destroy at a skate park besides like concrete ramps? This just doesn't really add up, dude. But at the same time, isn't it kind of weird that they added on that they ran away? Or it's like, no, I ran away from the bad guys. Like I ran away from the cops, bro. Because on one hand, they probably thought that sounded super badass. But then it's like, I beat these guys up and then I ran away. Doesn't sound very badass at all. One person hacked our online school class and was making fun of the teacher. And I am a student. Winky face. And I know how to hack someone's device. So I hacked his, took out his IP address and reported it to school management. And the principal praised me for this. Winky face. <laughs> what? Why'd you put the winky face there? <laughs> Do you know that this is a lie? Also, what the hell does I hacked his took out his IP address? What does that mean? Honestly, guys, I don't think I've ever been this confused. Are you saying that you hacked their online school class after they hacked yours? Or are you just saying you hacked their device? Like what, their computer or their phone? What? <laughs> and then with all the winky faces? I could not be more lost right now. First day of high school, I needed to make a statement. So I one punched the biggest jock and he fell on his butt in front of everyone in the cafeteria. Even got his girl as well a week later. <laughs> What? Wait a second. What do you mean even got his girl a week? Wait, you punched her too? <laughs> I knocked out the biggest guy at school and then a week later, knocked out his girlfriend. <laughs> you absolute legend. Vince is being sarcastic. You're not a legend, okay? <laughs> That's not okay. I would be worried that you hurt these people, but I'm sure it didn't happen. That's what I like about this, you know? We can all rest easy because it's probably not true. Like 99.99% false. You just really have to make a statement when you start school, don't you? So you just knock everyone out. <laughs> I bet everyone loved you after that. Many of my doctors and nurses said I was one of the most delightful patients they've ever had in their trauma wing in a while. I think they came to check on me extra because they wanted to hear my jokes. It was also very funny because when the charge nurse was releasing me today, I was telling her my plans after I got home and explaining my reasoning and halfway through the discharge speech, she was like, I have a feeling you know more about this than I'm about to tell you. Do you want me to keep reading it to you? And I said, no, I think I got it. I'm not a doctor. I just watch a lot of house. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I ever got out of watching a lot of House, besides really enjoying the show, was that I wanted a bright red bouncy ball like the one that House had, and that it was never lupus. I don't think you ever learnt any of that on House, dude. And there's no way a nurse would be like, oh, I'm sure you already know this. Because <laughs> you're just so smart, handsome, and perfect. Yeah, bro, okay. Friend with no college, you're not as smart as you think you are. Me, did you know you can judge distance and speed by colour? It's called the Doppler effect. The further light travels away, the more red it gets. The closer it travels towards, the more blue it gets gets. Friend with no college. Angry. Me. Ha 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 ha. I watched a couple of YouTube videos. Now I'm really smart. You know what? I think your friend was right all along. Just because you can say one smart thing doesn't mean you're smart. <laughs> and also what sort of smart person would say friend with no college? Do you mean they didn't have a college education or that they didn't have a college? Because I don't have a college either. The only authorities I follow are those that earn their authority through their leadership attributes and being open enough to empathize with. I've had a boss who would threaten us with the gun in his upstairs office. Dude asked me when I was 16, why didn't I fear him? And I asked why he wanted a 16 year old to fear him. The moment I see the threat of violence, they've lost all authority over me. Oh yeah. <laughs> like maybe, dude, I don't know anymore. Some of these could be true, but like maybe? But this comment makes a lot of sense here. Ah yes, as we all know, totally normal people ask teenagers why they don't fear them. Definitely not the internal narrative of a 19 year old incel. Yeah, that's exactly right. It's always just what they wanted to happen, what they wanted them to say. What can I lie about to make me seem like a badass. This royal Karen walked into a small gas station demanding to see the manager. She then pulled a slice of pizza from her coat and proclaimed, I got this pizza from here three days ago.
go and it's burnt. This is unacceptable. Make me two free pizzas right now. Oh, and by the way, the pizza wasn't burnt at all. Ha 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 ha. That just looks like a nice lady. And the person behind the register is like, why are you taking photos right now? I just don't reckon that happened at all. That lady there is standing super relaxed. She's looking down. It doesn't look at all like she's been demanding stuff from that gas station. Hey, look, a random person. I can make a story about them. I would be so surprised if this was real, but <laughs> I don't think it is. Is it true that you stole a teacher's car in high school? If you and eight friends lift a Volkswagen Beetle and move it more than 10 feet without permission, turns out you've just stolen a car. So funny story, when my dad was in high school in the 70s, he took apart his high school principal's car in the parking lot and got the football team to help him carry the pieces onto the auditorium stage where he reassembled it. Curtains go up for the weekly assembly, there's the car. Oh my god. <laughs> The principal immediately knew who did it and basically told him that as long as he had the car reassembled and in working order, back in the parking lot before the day was out, he wouldn't get in trouble. The principal got to drive home that night. The only car you can disassemble and reassemble that fast is one made by Little Tykes. What the hell kind of school was this? Charles Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Yeah, dude, all the guys just brought their tools to school and just took apart a car. That could be the worst lie I've ever heard. <laughs> like, there's no payoff. It's not even cool. Even if you went to a school and that did happen. It's not even that impressive anyway. Cool, bro. You took apart my car. And it's so obviously not true. <laughs> Very funny story, guys. And then just a lie. <laughs> Hilarious, dude. Me, I'd like to withdraw some money. I forgot my card. Bank. Okay, do you know you can use the app for that? Yeah, I choose not to. Okay, how much would you like? Me, 20. Bank. Just to let you know, in the app. I know, I know, I choose not to. Okay, okay, do you have ID? Here you go. The app will. I know. Your app also uses both fingerprints and facial recognition. You see that? advert behind you? It says biometric security is the strongest kind of security, right? Bank? Yeah, because... No, it's not. What if someone steals my password? What should I do? Well, you should change it and change your statements for unauthorized transactions. But what if someone steals my face? What should I do? Ah, uh, you can't steal me. Yes, you can. My face is available on Facebook. There is very cheap tech out there that will allow a 3D scan to be made of my face with those photos. That can be used to build a bust of my face, and it has been shown that these can fool facial recognition. You don't need to peel off my face to trick a computer into thinking it's my face. And what if someone gets a hold of the sequence of numbers generated by that face scan? Then they don't even need my face. Bank, I suppose so, but... So what do you propose I do if someone steals my face? I can change my password. It's much harder to change my face. I see. How much did you want? Security isn't complicated. It just needs some proper thought, but even banks can't get it right. Oh, man. You're big smarty, aren't you? Hey, everyone. I'm a genius. I know lots about security at the bank. Okay, dude. Who cares? Oh my god, I'm so jealous because I don't know that much about bank security. <laughs> this guy must be a legend. God, I'm really kicking myself about that one. <laughs> god damn it. I wrote a paper, got an A, and then I forgot about it. Later, a teacher congratulated me for getting my work published in a magazine. I was so confused, but then I realized what was happening, and my blood ran cold. My paper had indeed gotten published in a magazine under my teacher's name. She straight up stole my work and got paid for it. I wanted to punch her her in the face. But the school's humiliating punishment was better than any revenge I could have asked for. The school forced her to do some original writing in the form of an apology letter. Ah! Oh. <laughs> These people are putting so much of their energy into this. They're trying so hard that it's taking energy out of me. <laughs> that just didn't happen, did it, buddy? I'm such a genius and I'm such a good writer that even my teachers stole my work. Sometimes they say I should teach the class and you know what? One time I did. And then we took apart a teacher's car and reassembled it. It's all the same. Look at me, I'm better than you. No, you're not. <laughs> was waving at a security officer. The guy looked at him and rolled his eyes, didn't wave back. Stopped waving and pointed right at him and yelled, yeah, well, you're ugly and not a policeman. We talked about it, but honestly, that was such a sick burn. This lie does not make you look good, dude. It makes you look like an idiot. Just imagine this. You wave at a security officer, they don't wave back. So you say, yeah, well, you're ugly and you're not a policeman. Oh, you're a big man, aren't you, bro? Making this guy feel like crap about himself because what? He didn't wave back to you? You. Grow up, bro. <laughs> Show a little bit of maturity, dude. But I don't have to worry because that definitely didn't happen because he's trying to make it sound like he's a big tough guy. He was probably being so annoying. There's probably so much more that he didn't put in this story. And the security officer was probably so sick of this guy. <laughs> but no, nah, you wouldn't put that in the story, would you? I'm a Powerball winner of $950 million. I'm using this medium to appreciate the society by giving out $50,000 to the poor and needy that like or follow. Lying and scamming people. Help Oh yeah. Imagine if somebody actually did win $950 million and they actually were giving away money. <laughs>
Like, ah. <laughs> this one's less of a fake story. And it's more of like, hey, I got lots of money that I don't actually have. And I'm going to trick you into following me. My kids at seven would have never fallen for an elf or Santa Claus. They were way too practical thinking even then. My son at five told the mall Santa, you're like Mickey Mouse. It's funny to take a picture with you. And my mum puts the picture on the fridge. But we all know you're a regular guy. They pay you to wear that costume and it's your job. Merry Christmas. The Santa laughs so hard. If they're not lying about how smart they are, they're lying about how smart their kids are. <laughs> Look at me. I have genius children. That's the scary one where they're living through their kids. That's the one that actually worries me a little bit. Be proud of your kids, obviously, but don't make up stories. That's sad. So I just lost an eighth grade presidential election five years ago and my friend just found the guy who beat me on Tinder. UD 22 computer science linguistics. Still proud of the time I became class president just to beat someone I found mildly annoying. Get wrecked me again. Yeah, bro, because a random guy is still going to be thinking about a thing he did five years ago. How boring are you guys? <laughs> you haven't done anything since? Sorry, but it's just not real. It just didn't happen, did it? The little smug emoji is the icing on the cake. Yeah, this happened. I'm Megan. I'm the best. <laughs> you know, if this was real, that's a pretty funny coincidence, but I just don't think it is. And also, isn't it weird if you're bragging about something that happened five years ago? That's sort of a red flag in my books, dude. Police officers have read it. What was the silliest thing you've heard from someone trying to avoid a ticket for speeding? I'm not a cop, but I told them I was in a rush to frick his wife. I got body slammed and a DUI that night. <laughs> And an epic legend award. Like, maybe that happened. I don't want to just go out and say that that didn't happen. You know, maybe it did, but I doubt it. People always find really weird things to brag about online. And this is probably just one of those things. I'm so damn tough, bro. I literally just told this cop that I was going to go and bang his wife. And then I got body slammed. <laughs> you know, just another day being a total badass. What can I say? <laughs> You're very cool, dude. And I wish I was you. Oh, this one starts out strong. I know karate. When I was a senior in high school, a lot of people were getting robbed after school by gang members. Finally, they tried it with me once. It was two guys. One had a gun. He said, give me your money, SA. I said, are you sure this is the direction you want to go? They started cussing. I then took the gun with one move, did a roundhouse kick to the other guy's face, knocking him down, and a drop kick to the first guy's nuts. I said, do you still want my money, SA? One guy I was crying. They both ran away. I didn't even realize a lot of kids were watching and they all started clapping. My crush was there. <laughs> of course she was. She gave me a kiss on the cheek. She ended up dating me and the rest of the year I was treated like a king. I'm in college now and we're getting married. Never underestimate this smaller guy. Oh my god. Compulsive liar much? <laughs> Jesus. Man, that was so not true. I watched a movie and I confused that with my real life and it turns out that didn't actually happen. <laughs> I just saw it on TV. I gave this guy a roundhouse kick and knocked him out. He started crying and then I'd give him a drop kick and then they ran away and then my crush was watching and then I looked super tough and buff and she immediately came up and gave me a kiss on the cheek and everyone gave me a round of applause. I feel bad for people like this that feel like they need to lie to get attention. It's not good. And also it's so obvious that that's a lie. <laughs> like no one is believing that. Absolutely no one. A painting my son made with Dollar Tree canvas and the 50 cent crafter paint from Walmart. He made them when he was five. He is seven now. I'm sure a five year old made them. Yeah, absolutely. Are you sure you didn't do them and you're just pretending that it was your son so you don't have to brag about yourself? <laughs> like, isn't that the only reason people do this sort of stuff? They don't want to be like, look what I did. It's amazing. So they put it on their kid and they go, oh, my son did this. He must have a real smart mum. <laughs> I just get frustrated with this sort of stuff because it always comes from a really selfish place. You know, the parents that lie about this sort of stuff are only doing it for themselves. They don't care about what people think of their kids. They care about what people think of them. They want people to think that they're an amazing mum or an amazing dad or they're really talented or their kids must have come from such amazing parents. <laughs> when you actually get to the root of it, it's still them thinking about themselves. And you know what, man? Vincey is not a big fan of that. When you come out of lush to a clapping audience because I spent so much money. Money. Cue early and get freezing
freezing cold like us. I'll take what I want, like the woman in Lush said. I don't care if none of them outside don't get any. You've been cute for two hours. Price before the 50% was knocked off. Oh, current sale, 1,000 pounds and 233 items. Okay, good for you. You spend 1,000 pounds <laughs> on bloody bath bombs. Good for you. Like, what are they trying to brag about here? I literally make so much money. I literally have so much money that I can just waste 1,000 pounds on bath bombs. <laughs> Is that what they're saying? Because if that's what they're trying to brag about, you're not going to have money for long if that's how you spend it. Or maybe I'm completely wrong, you know? Maybe this is totally true. Maybe they just want to splurge a bit of money, you know? Every time I get paid, all I want to do is go and spend a thousand pounds on bath bombs. Don't you guys? That's living the dream. When I was in high school, we went to a military air force base and they let us climb in an F4 and the pilot would ask us how it feels sitting in a fighter jet. And then I started to flip switches as he washed it. And he asked me, have I ever flown? I know why, because you just did everything right to get this thing off the ground. I said, this is the first time I've ever gotten into a jet. That was hard to read. Oh my God. <laughs> so what you're saying is you got into an F4 fighter jet and the guy was washing it while you were flipping switches and you just did everything right to make it start. I have no doubts in the world that that happened. Absolutely. This guy not even looking at you, just out there casually washing it while you're just playing with stuff. <laughs> Either that's the worst pilot of all time, or you're lying. I got Cyberpunk to run on my Wii. I don't know how, but I did it. It looks horrible, but I mean, there is always a downside to running new games on really old consoles. No, I cannot provide proof because it melted the outer casing of the Wii, meaning it no longer works. That's a little bit convenient, buddy. It was really fun. I had a second Wii, and the one I used to test the game had a broken fan, and I didn't want to search the internet to find a fan, but it didn't warn me that it was over heating and it just powered off mostly because it had melted and also partly because when the fan had broke it smashed something inside like oh my god guys i literally put cyberpunk into a nintendo wii and it blew up and melted and the fan exploded and it was so crazy but i played it for at least like 10 minutes yeah nice story buddy <laughs> i'm sure that happened of course i can't provide any proof because it didn't happen i was riding the public bus i was 18 and visibly pregnant with my daughter i'm pagan and i was wearing a pentacle necklace. This woman got up and started screaming at me about how me and my baby were going to be going to hell and I shouldn't be allowed on the bus and then she asked the bus driver to kick me off the bus? The bus driver stopped in the middle of the route. He looked at me and then he looked at her and told her that there was no room for hate like that on his bus and that she needed to vacate immediately. He even gave her his own pocket money to refund her fare so that she would get off the bus. He then said, if you don't mind, I'd like to give you a hug and I did hug him. He whispered in my ear that me and my baby were meant to have a wonderful life and that I shouldn't let the hatred of a stranger infect my heart. I'll never forget that day. Oh god. <laughs> With 1,700 like. Oh my god. Is that 1,700 people laughing at that or do people actually think that happened? I'm honestly just a saint and I got on the bus and I'm just perfect and I was just sitting there peacefully <laughs> and everyone else is full of hatred but I won't let them infect my heart. Good for you. At least this one has a good message behind it. It comes from a good place. I don't really know why you'd lie about this, but as far as these lies go, that one's not too bad. LMAO, the girl in front of me is watching TikToks on the plane, and one of my TikToks popped up on her For You page, and she liked it. Wait till she finds out I'm right behind her. LMAO! I really hope that's true, because that'd be so funny. Like, I kind of don't even doubt that that happened. I feel like it probably did happen. I've been on TikTok before, and it's recommended me people that live near me, and that's, like, really weird. And and they definitely use your location. So I feel like this one's probably true. TikTok really freaks me out. I don't have it on my phone. I'm scared that it's tracking me everywhere. Like it's super weird and they definitely sell your information. <laughs> and it kind of scares me. And this probably is real. Would not be surprised. I tell my dad that I have a date with a girl and his first question was, does she love the Lord? And by the Lord, I mean Harry Styles. Bruce is out here asking the important questions. I'm screaming. You know, I... I just wish that happened because that'd be pretty cute, but I feel like it didn't happen. But you never know. You know, I like to be optimistic, guys. Maybe that happened. Maybe they were already talking about Harry Styles and how everyone loves him. And then, you know, maybe he said that. But there's no way someone's dad would just say that out of the blue, is there? <laughs> Am I just really dumb, guys? Like, is that really obviously not true? I can't tell. You know, some dads are pretty funny like that. And maybe they were talking about him. But if they weren't talking about him like 10 minutes before, I can't imagine that ever happening. <laughs> I quit.
quit my job of 750k monthly for my peace of mind. It's better to be unemployed and have peace of mind than to be receiving $750,000 a month without peace of mind. Um, don't you mean you retired? <laughs> Bro, if I was making 750 grand a month, is that what you mean? Like $750,000? Like it could be in a different currency, maybe, yeah. But if you're making $750,000 a month and you just, you know, that was it, you didn't have any overhead, that was all profit, <laughs> you'd work for two years and you'd never work again. So call me crazy, but I just have a feeling this is a load of crap. It's like Mr. Beast or PewDiePie or someone, you know. <laughs> I quit my job of like a million bucks a month <laughs> just for the peace of mind. I don't know, I feel like I could have peace of mind and 750 grand a month. I wouldn't complain, that's for sure. Stopped off at a beer depot to get my final 12 packs. A few other people in line behind me. The guy behind the counter said Merry Christmas. I put the packs down and said loud enough for all to hear. It's about time we said Merry Christmas again. Not in a snide voice. Happy chokes, holidays, fake baths. It's Merry Christmas. They all laughed and as I was walking out, everyone in the store wished everyone a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas everyone everyone. Wait a second, what's your argument here, dude? You don't like that people say happy holidays? <laughs> <laughs> if that's your only problem, dude, you don't have much to worry about. Not everyone celebrates Christmas. Oh, dude. <laughs> like, people are just trying to be polite. The same thing if you say Merry Christmas. That's fine as well. You're just trying to be polite. What? People are trying to make you say Happy Holidays? Oh, poor you. <laughs> I went in to buy beer and I was really rude and I upset everyone. Ha ha ha. Very good. So cool, bro. Are you freaking kidding me? I banged my elbow on the wall and I immediately looked downwards to check how many hearts I was on in real freaking life. Oh my god, my food's getting a little bit low. I better go eat something. To be fair, I used to play a lot of Minecraft, right? And every now and then I'd make a real life mistake and I'd be like, oh, I wish I could just, you know, restart or respawn. <laughs> but like, not in a super stupid way. Like, just, I didn't actually think I could, you know, like, I'm not that dumb. <laughs> but this sort of stuff is sort of might happen. Maybe. But I can't imagine you'd actually look down to see how many hearts you were on. Got a feeling you're lying here, bud. I can never not think about that clip from The Simpsons. I've got to put it in. Thomas Edison, Dad. I thought he invented the light bulb. That too. He also invented the photograph, the microphone, and the electric car. No one man can do all that. You're a liar, honey. A dirty, rotten liar. I told a guy on the train to wear a mask. The guy was like, get to frick. No muscle for me. You sheeple believing this plan, damn it. Complete idiots. I warned you, mate, I replied. And then I ripped an absolutely honking fart. <laughs> and the whole train cheered. What? Because you ripped an absolutely honking fart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just imagine that for a second. You know, these people are fighting about wearing a mask and then one of them just rips this huge fart and then gets out. <laughs> I kind of wish that did happen. By the way, pretty much all of the posts on this subreddit are about wearing a mask or not wearing a mask or... Dude, it's so annoying. <laughs> I still remember one day I was, you know, watering this bird and everything was going well. Then I decided to whip out my ting and she started looking at it saying, is that it? I know it's just around seven inches, but in my opinion, that's more than enough to satisfy a woman. Even though I wanted to drop kick her right there and then, we still went on and did it. When I finished, she apologized for laughing at the start as she realized how good of a job I actually did. Hopefully now on, she won't judge a book by its cover. Weird thing to lie about. That's real bloody weird, real creepy, and real gross. I didn't even put it in. Like, I had to, you know, I blurred all that out. You know, I was just doing this stuff with this bird, and like, oh, I whipped it out, and she said it was little. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like something you should probably keep to yourself, buddy. You know, pretty much any time a guy's talking about this sort of stuff, you automatically should assume that he's lying. You know, that's what guys do. You know, they're like, oh, mine's bigger than yours. I'm an absolute legend in the bedroom. Dude, okay. <laughs> I Like, what are you trying to prove here? First, they ignore you, then they laugh at you, but eventually they will join you. A text I just got from one of my economics professors, hashtag Bitcoin. Baylor, this is your doctor. Do you remember? Remember when you came into office hours a couple of years ago asking about Bitcoin? I apologize for calling you crazy as you seem to be right. I bought some today. Maybe that happened. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused. Bitcoin is like 37,000 Australian dollars right now. Also, I just checked it. That's insane. I had some Bitcoin last year and I sold it and I feel like an idiot right now. <laughs> so I don't know, dude. Maybe that did happen. I don't know how to explain this, but I broke the fourth wall. 
I started seeing myself from third person. I didn't think much of it before. At the start it was rare, like once every two months. Now it's weekly. But today I turned around to the place where the camera was at. I saw myself in third person until I stopped looking. Usually it lasts one to three seconds. I had a theory about it, but now I'm 99.99999% sure that we are in a movie or cartoon. I don't know what exactly. My other me, I have several personalities, said that I am this universe's Deadpool, but I am a girl, so I am a lady Deadpool from Earth 3010. Please help, I don't know how to react. Please tell me if someone had the same experience. As much as I hope that was real, it definitely didn't happen. <laughs> I'd love it if we all were in like a movie or a simulation or something. Actually, would I? I don't know if I would want that. If you encounter wine snobs, confuse them by using this move. So I told my mum about this post before she and my dad went on a trip to Napa and she was delighted to try this out. And apparently when she straight face lifted her glass of Chardonnay to her ear and swelled it, she baffled the other winery goers so much that they all instinctively did exactly the same thing. That sort of crowd thing that you aren't quite sure what's right but you'll be damned if you're mistaken for the plebeian that you are. But watching that was enough for my mum to lose her composure, laugh so hard that she cried and spilled the entire glass all over herself. In the process getting kicked out of the winery. So long story short, do this at your own risk. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, this really funny and interesting thing happened to me. Maybe that happened, but I don't think people are that stupid to just listen to what the wine sounds like. Honestly, maybe that did happen. You know, there are a lot of snobby wine people that are only doing it to sort of show off. They're probably like, oh yes. <laughs> this Riesling is talking to me like none other. We'll chuck that one in the maybe pile. An actual unsolicited conversation while I was waiting for the light to turn green in my city today. Old person. Hi, you have a nose ring. Me. Yeah. And a tattoo on your knee. Also, yes. Don't you think it's unrespectful to your parents that gave you such an amazing life gift to mutilate your body like that? Uh, do you have children? Yes, two girls. Awesome. Congratulations. Did you get your daughters to get their ears pierced when they were born? Absolutely I did. They each got earrings with their birthstones before they were one year old. Well, don't you think it's breaking their freedom of choice over their body to get their ears pierced before they're even able to give consent? Old person shuts themselves. Me, that's what I thought. Have a good day. <laughs> I absolutely destroyed this old person. <laughs> Do you feel good about yourself now? Like seriously, who cares? Even if this was true and you destroyed this old person with facts and logic, it's not really very impressive. Well, didn't you make your daughters get ear piercings? Yeah, that's right. Screw you, grandma. <laughs> you really put that old lady in her place, didn't you? True story, when I was 11, I had to do a magic grid for maths homework. I spent two hours solving the bugger only to get to school and have the teacher tell us it was impossible. And if you think that you've got the answer, you don't. I timidly put my hand up and made her look a fool as I dismantled her maths and teaching degree with my barely out of primary school education. Don't mean to brag, but when you've not achieved a lot, you wait for moments like this. Oh, and you even had to say that you haven't achieved a lot <laughs> when you definitely didn't achieve this. I've heard this exact same lie like 10 different times. Like, oh yeah, this math problem was unsolvable until I solved it in my head in five seconds. I absolutely destroyed our maths teacher and everybody gave me a round of applause. Yeah, that didn't happen, did it? God, how can you get this smart? You must really be gifted. A lot smarter than all your classmates and your teachers. Yeah, sure. Once this girl in Moran was trying to overtake me at a U-turn, but I didn't let her, so she went around six to seven cars, took the turn at full throttle, stopped on the other side of the road, got out, clapped at me, and got in her car and drove away. The legend earned my respect, not gonna lie. What did you just say? A girl was trying to overtake me, but I didn't let her. So she went around six to seven, you don't mean 67, right? So she went around six to seven cars, took the U-turn at full throttle, and stopped on the other side of the road, got out and clapped at me. What? <laughs> no, she didn't. And why would you want that to happen? Who cares? Oh, this girl just got out of her car and gave me a round of applause for no reason. <laughs> why? <laughs> why did you make this up? I actually couldn't be more confused. I don't know why you would want that to happen. So I used to work for an Audi car dealership. Most of our clients are educated, high net worth individuals. This lady came in and bought a brand new Audi S8 for like 170k or somewhere around there. A couple of days go by, my co-worker receives a free 
frantic phone call from the lady. She's super angry and accusing us of selling her a lemon. She tells my co-worker that her brand new Audi just died on the highway and she's stuck in the middle of nowhere. She's very upset. So my co-worker decides to troubleshoot. He asks her what warning lights are showing on her dash. Is the check engine light on? Is the oil indicator on? Are the lights yellow, red, flashing? She says that no warning lights are on, just that the engine chokes and will not turn on. So my co-worker asks her, what does your gas tank show? Is it full or empty? Is the fuel gauge all the way to the left or the right? She looks at the gauge and tells him that the gauge is on the letter E. He says, ma'am, you ran out of gas. That's why you're experiencing the issue. The lady answers back, ran out of gas? What do you mean I ran out of gas? Do you think I'm stupid? Those sort of things only happen in movies, not in real life. We called Audi Roadside and they came to put some gas in her car. This woman is a high profile lawyer who makes over 800k a year, yet she did not realize that cars run out of gas. People are idiots. Okay, has she never driven a car before? Why would somebody go their entire life and not think that a car needs to have petrol in it? <laughs> are you crazy? <laughs> that's obviously a lie. Like that's not just people being stupid. You would have to be insane. We're assuming that this is a fully grown, probably middle-aged woman earning almost a million dollars a year as a lawyer. But what, she's never heard of the concept of putting petrol in your car? <laughs> I don't think so. So this one time I went into that Dick's restaurant where everyone is mean. Well, let's just say they've never met anyone like me. Waiter, so who are you all with? My students, our teacher, she's our model coach. Waiter, well, isn't she too ugly to be modeling? Okay, that definitely didn't happen. No one would ever say that. Well, at least I don't look like a raccoon slaving away in a business who underpays you to take others' orders while the higher-ups are making millions. Let's just say after we had a long talk about what he wanted to do in his future. <laughs> What? <laughs> Let's just say we became good friends and I gave him some life advice. <laughs> and then we talked about investments and what you should do. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, I was so expecting that to be like, let's just say he never talked to me again. Or like he went home crying. But no, let's just say we had a long talk about what he wanted to do in his future. We had a very long personal conversation about his life and my life and it was really beautiful. What a lovely, wholesome moment. Yeah, I'm sure that happened. One time a girl offered to have her and her friend have a threesome for some illustration she needed for a children's book. Took get back at her. I impregnated them both and then drew a crappy stick figure in the book. You what? <laughs> Why would you need to put anything about a threesome in a children's book? Little Timmy that's like eight years old probably doesn't need to learn about this right now. And also what? They don't care that they just both got pregnant? Yeah, yeah, I know. You just got us both pregnant. But what's really important is the drawings for my book. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Like, why would you write that? One time in sixth grade, I was being bullied really badly. And, and this whole circle of people gathered around me and the girl that was bullying me. And she smirked and went, you dumb rich arch. And everyone was like, ooh. And stood there for a second before pulling $20 out of my wallet, placed it in her hand and said, buy some better insults. And I swear the entire lunchroom rioted. Like, oh my God, no, it didn't happen. The lunchroom didn't riot after that. Like, who cares? And also, like, people didn't huddle around for that. No way. You dumb rich arch, and everyone's just like, whoa, what are you gonna say next? The amount of movies that I've seen that happen in, like, I think these people are just confused. This is a TV show, not your real life. When I was a flight attendant, me closing overhead bins. Guy, I thought we weren't supposed to smoke in the aircraft. Yeah, that's correct. Well, you're smoking. What? I don't even smoke. Smoking hot. Hot, surrounding passengers. Oh, ha, ha, ha. And claps. Me. Oh. Guy, maybe I should have left that at the gate. Me. Ha, ha. Please fasten your seatbelt. So can I take off with your number? Random guy. Damn, he just went there. He got free pretzels for being punny. No, he didn't. <laughs> like, I almost would have believed that. Because there'd be so many creepy guys that had hit on flight attendants on airplanes. Like, definitely. It's awful, but I'm sure it happens. Especially if you're a young, really good-looking flight attendant. You know, you get those sorts of people all the time, I'm sure. But then you go, random guy, damn, he just went there. And everyone around just starts clapping. <laughs> yeah, that's where you lost me. I've got a pretty good feeling. <laughs> You're a liar. I popped into H&M to buy a sweater for work. This guy follows me in and says, you probably don't remember me. I see you walk down this street a few times a week and you give a dollar to at least one homeless person. You've given me at least $30 over the last six months. I finally found a job and a place to live. Thank you. Then hands me $50. 
dollars and walks away. Now listen, maybe that happened, but at the same time, I think you're just finding a way to brag about being a good person. Like, yeah, I give all my money to homeless people. Of course I do. I'm an amazing person. I think that makes a lot of sense that you just be like, oh yeah, look at me. I'm better than you because I'm very charitable and I'm a good person. But on the other hand, you know, maybe that did happen and it just really sounds like a lie. If you went past this guy every single day and you gave him money every single day, like he'd remember you for sure. But also like, did that happen? I really don't know. Today a rep from Vodafone rang me and at the end of the call they said, this is really random, but do you have TikTok? I recognize your voice. Maybe? What do you guys think about this one? I don't think so. Maybe if you're like, yeah, there's no one else that sounds like that person. But at the same time, who actually talks on TikTok? Honestly, I don't know. Maybe that did happen. It's one of those things that's like, yeah, you can see why you would lie about that because it's like, yeah, I got recognized. I'm famous on TikTok. But also, you know, it might have happened. My son's pediatrician tried to bully me into supplementing and saying my milk wasn't in. I pulled my boob out and squirted milk across the room and she shut up and took her formula samples and walked out. Whoa, go you with some praise hands. What a load of crap. <laughs> I just whipped out my boob and squirted milk everywhere. Yeah, I don't think they walked out of the room because you're an absolute badass. They're probably embarrassed for you. Imagine doing that for a second. Oh yeah? And then <laughs> squirt milk over the room. That's what I'm so confused about on this subreddit. Why would you want that to be true? Sorry I missed your message. I was still at the gym. Funny story. There was this group of three, what I would assume high school age girls. I forgot my headphones and in between a few sets I kept hearing one of them say, I will ask him if you want me to. That's not him. No way. I couldn't figure out who they possibly thought I was until I heard one of them say, there's no way Johnny Sins is in Omaha. I almost died. Yeah, um, if you guys don't know who Johnny Sins is, you can look that up in your own time. <laughs> I'm not going to explain here, but I don't reckon that happened, dude. It really doesn't sound like something a group of girls would say, and I just don't think you'd look like him. If they knew who he was, you'd think they'd know that it wasn't you. You know what I mean? Like, they've seen this guy's face enough to remember his name, but they don't exactly know what he looks like. That doesn't really make sense. I've delivered food for a long time, 15 years. Definitely hooked up with a lot of wives, sometimes being caught. Guys get real sensitive when they hear a hung white man making their wife moan. <laughs> oh well, I get mine. Yeah, then you woke up, LMAO. Right. Yeah, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> what a load of crap. Exactly. Then you woke up and then you snapped out of your fantasy. I think the problem with like 90% of people on this subreddit is they've watched one too many movies or one too many uh, videos on a certain website <laughs> and they think that that's their life. I'm just a sexy delivery man and I sleep with every woman I deliver stuff to. Yeah, okay. <laughs> In your dreams, dude. My three-year-old daughter comes up to me and says, give away the stone, let the waters kiss and transmutate. I looked at her and said, these are leading grudges into gold. She then stated that Tool is the best band ever and that I was the best dad ever. I think I won today, lol. Oh, okay. <laughs> These ones make me a little bit sad. Maybe that did happen, but I don't think it did. And they're lying to make themselves feel better. It's just all a bit sad. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> so this one time in grade eight, I was walking home and some of the popular girls came up to me and pushed me into a puddle and told me to go have sex with my boyfriend. And this girl said, wait guys, she doesn't even have one. And they all laughed at me until the most popular guy in school came up to me and said, wait, did we break up? I sure hope not. And kissed me and I had no clue what he was doing. But yeah, we just got married. <laughs> oh yeah. People are so bloody ridiculous. Like, <laughs> that's the silliest thing I've ever read. If somebody asked you to write something that sounded like a lie, <laughs> that's what that is. I've never heard a faker story in my life. And the most popular guy came up and kissed me. It just sounds like one of those American high school movies, you know. I got pushed into a puddle and the most popular guy came and kissed me and like, <laughs> that really showed those mean popular girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so a few years ago I was in school and I asked to go to the restroom because I had to take a fat pee. While I was in there, they announced on the intercom we were going into lockdown. Like a bad bitch, I didn't really care, but I stayed in the bathroom instead of walking back to class. Yeah, probably not a good idea. And so then I hear the door open and I look who the hell walked in the bathroom. Well, it was this hot kid I'd never seen and before I said anything, we started to make out. <laughs> oh, what is this crap? Which was fine by me, Mr. Hands bigger than my face. And so it kept progressing and 
he took his jacket off and well I heard something hard hit the floor and I looked down and it was a gun. I didn't really mind though, I was into it and I proceeded to hit him with that Gork Gork 3000, the double hand twist and it was really hot, inaudible. Well before you know he was inside of me and stuff and then he finished so I got up, started to put my clothes back on and left, never saw him again after that. And apparently he was the reason we were going into lockdown and he was going to shoot up our school or something. Almost passed out reading that. Oh my god. That's the funniest and the dumbest thing I've ever read in my entire life. And of course it came from TikTok. Hold on. That has 4.7 million likes and 75,000 comments. There must be a lot of people that think that's real. Maybe it actually did happen. No, nah, it's written like a lie. Imagine if something like that actually did happen and nobody believes you. I just don't like the chances, you know? All of these just sound like fantasies. Literally, these people dream about something and then they're like, oh, I'll just lie about that on TikTok and everyone will believe me. Went to a mega death concert and screamed out, screw Metallica, right as the song ended. Holy wars. Everyone turned around and cheered and they lifted me up like a king. I probably would have believed that until the end. They lifted me up like a king. Oh yeah? <laughs> just random people just came up to you and lifted you up because you said that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure if that actually happened, buddy. I took an IQ test. I scored 141. Maybe next time I'll score higher. That's not really bad at all. My IQ is really good, lol. Honestly, it's just a measurement of how well and fast you learn. Mine's 182. Wow, your IQ is higher than Einstein's was. Einstein only had an IQ of 160 to 170. You know what Einstein was doing? Not bragging about his IQ. Oh, it's so frustrating. You think Einstein sat around with his friends and was like, oh, my IQ is 160 and what's yours? I'm smarter than you. No, he did useful things. It's literally just a way for people to brag. Sorry, I need to calm down, but it really frustrates me because we see people bragging about their IQ on every single That Happened video and every single I'm Very Smart video. It's just really annoying, you know? It's like other things in life. It's about what you do with it. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> this happened once in first grade. The entire class, including teachers, got a different answer, but I got one more. So everyone was like, no, it's this. And then I went up to the whiteboard, showed them my answer and outsmarted the teachers, lol. In first grade. <laughs> Surely you can barely even talk when you're in first grade. Oh yes, I was solving complicated problems and outsmarting the teachers in first grade. Sounds like a load of hooey. Okay, so all of these come from the same person on TikTok. More perks of being best friends with the son of a Russian mafia boss. Just like getting lots of money just for being friends with them, I guess. The best part of owning a Chick-fil-A is free food whenever you want it. Wow. <laughs> okay. Bro, what? Today Amazon just mistakenly gave me a PlayStation 5 LMAO. I kind of feel bad, but there was no address on it to return. It's literally just a box. If you're missing a PlayStation 5, let me know in the comments and I'll give it back to you. Wow, a lie in a lie. You'll get like 10,000 comments of people being like, yeah, that's my PlayStation 5. Obviously, they're not going to give it back to somebody in the comments. What? You just said that it had no return address. And if it was addressed to your house to get delivered to you, how are you ever going to prove whose PlayStation it is? <laughs> people are bloody ridiculous. And you own a Chick-fil-A and you're rich because your friend is the son of a Russian mafia boss? These are the most pointless lies ever too. You put out a TikTok. The best part of owning a Chick-fil-A is you get free food. People would be like, ah, oh, how do you own a Chick-fil-A? And then what do you say? That's the end of my lie. I don't. <laughs> the only thing that makes any sense is that they're trying to get their TikTok to go viral. But even then, it's not like people aren't going to figure it out. Florida woman claims that wind blew cocaine into her purse. <laughs> no way. I swear. <laughs> it's not mine. It blew into my purse. You know, one of those cocaine tornadoes. What do you mean? It happens all the time. That's how anybody gets caught with anything. It just blew its way into my pocket. I just had to take my daughter to an ENT. Here was our conversation. Looking at her chart. Doctor, allergic to aluminium in medications? Why would there be aluminium in medications? Me. She's allergic to vaccines. There's aluminium in vaccines. There's aluminium in vaccines? Really? Me. Yes, sir. Okay, great. You're telling the doctor how to do their own job. Hmm, <laughs> interesting. I didn't know there was aluminium in vaccines. Why would that be in there? To himself looking puzzled. How did you find that out? Me. The CDC media and ex excipient list, it says right on there. 
there. Doctor, really, it does? Yes, along with many other harmful ingredients like formaldehyde and human DNA. I didn't know any of that was in there. I just had a bunch of vaccines to go to Africa. Well, you should go look. You might be shocked at what's in them. I guess so. Looking confused. Me, nice to meet you. Hashtag planting seeds. Hashtag matrix mothers. <laughs> I have no doubt in the world that that happened. I'm sure that did happen. Like, I can definitely imagine somebody going to a doctor and being super bloody annoying. 100%. I'm not up to date on the latest vaccination conspiracies, so... But that sounds pretty bloody ridiculous. But there's nothing better than going to a doctor and telling them how to do their job, isn't it? And acting like you know more than them and you're smarter than them. I've done my research. I know a lot more about this than you do. Yeah, okay. Yo, my son woke me up out of my sleep crying and said, Mummy, I know you're tired of working, trying to make it better for me and my sister. I'll go to work for you today. This made me cry. He's only one. Like, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just trying to think in what situation your kid would be in your uniform and upset. Kids kind of do cry at the drop of a hat though, don't they? Yeah, I'm on the fence with this one. I have no idea. Cast your votes down below, guys. A little girl wanted to know what the United States look like. Her dad tore a map of the USA from a magazine and then cut it into small pieces. He told her to go to her room and see if she can put it together. After some minutes, she returned and handed the map correctly fitted and taped together. The dad was surprised and asked how she had finished so quickly. She said, on the other side was a picture of Jesus and when I put him back together, our country just came together. I'm sure that happened. Isn't that adorable? I don't know what magazine would have a full-size map of the US and then on the other side, a full-size picture of Jesus. Like, yeah, sure. For that to work, they'd both have to be the same size, which would mean there'd be like no articles on those pages. It'd literally just be a picture of a map and a picture of Jesus. Yeah, you know what? I don't like the chances of that, man. Two days after I bring my newborn daughter home from the hospital, 22-month-old son. Are you really going to say 20? Like, just say a, almost two years old. <laughs> my basically two-year-old son. When's she going back? Me. Back where? To her house at the hospital. No, she lives with us now. Mummy, you're not making good choices. <laughs> My mummy is not making good choices. That's a weird thing to lie about, isn't it? Like, I know they're trying to be like, oh, my son is so smart, but that just didn't really work. My five-year-old son was playing in the garden and sees two spiders. He asked me, is that a mummy long legs under that daddy long legs? No, son, there's no mummy long legs, only daddy long legs. I felt pretty proud of my answer until he stomps on both spiders saying, we'll have none of that gay crap in our freaking garden. Your five-year-old son said that. <laughs> Guys, I am so out of here. Cat called me on the street and when I gave him a dirty look, he apologized and gave me a hundred dollars and said that he was sorry for the patriarchy. What? <laughs> Why would somebody do that? Every single person that stares at this guy gets a hundred bucks. Uh, <laughs> where can I find this guy? I went into a local CVS and of course a worker started yelling at me for not wearing a mask. I explained to him the concept of herd immunity and how we shouldn't be sheep. By the end, some people started clapping and taking off their masks. The worker apologized and let me through. Oh, <laughs> these sorts of ones are so annoying. Like nobody just starts clapping out of nowhere. That definitely didn't happen. Like, yeah, I'm not a sheep. I don't wear a mask. <laughs> okay. I just convinced everybody because I'm a genius and now they're not sheep and they gave me a round of applause. Yeah, that didn't happen, did it? My girl told me that a guy at the club was hitting on her. She pointed him out for me and I stormed over there. He was with a group of other ugly looking drunks. I asked, you hitting on my girl? He looked over and said, maybe so. By the end of the night, I'm standing outside the club with blood on my hands and four grown men begging for my forgiveness. Mess with my girl, get a beating from me. Simple as that. Oh, it's even worse because people like this think they're really cool. Yeah, big man, aren't you, dude? Solving your problems by just fighting everybody. Yeah, that's not a bad idea at all, is it? Believe it or not, we know that we probably shouldn't believe it already. I was seated by chance next to an Apple executive in a dim sum restaurant who was boasting to his table about being at the top secret Apple convention where a new tech was shown using vaccine delivered nanoparticles to harvest human processes. Target outcomes. Am I the only one that didn't understand that? Using vaccine delivered nanoparticles to harvest human processes. Target outcomes. Oh yeah, the top secret Apple convention. So what, you're saying that Apple is making vaccinations and they're in injecting like technology into you so they can like run you and harvest your human processes. What you think Apple's behind all of this? <laughs> 
Oh, people have too much time. I went to Starbucks because I don't know how to sleep in. Tons of people in line. Everyone looks like zombies and I'm spacing out myself. All of a sudden, this guy stands next to me and goes, this is crazy. And then grabs my hand to hold it. We both looked down and then looked up. Him, you're not my wife. Me, no. Girl behind us, you're holding the wrong hand, honey. Him, are you sure? Me, we're sure. Him, I feel committed to finishing this Starbucks experience with you now. Me, I'm not paying. Him, oh, never mind. Let me go back to my wife. Wife, I'm not paying either. Guy in front of us, come hold my hand, sir. I'll buy you any frappuccino you want. The husband went and held hands with the strange man and looks at both me and his wife and goes, at least someone cares about me. <laughs> I'm sad. That didn't happen. It just sounds like something out of a movie or a TV show or a cartoon. Something not real. You don't even want to know. When I was in the army, I was so badass that in basic training, they just let me do what I want. I was the toughest guy in the platoon. I could run faster, shoot better, and do everything better than anyone. The DI just let me go to the barracks and read Playboys. I became a sniper in the army and did all kinds of secret missions, all classified. Let's just say I was a part of some major events. You won't read my name in history books, but I was there, and you can thank me for making your country safer anytime. Like, I always feel sad after I read these, because I try and imagine, like, the actual person that's writing this. And either this did happen, and they're just living out their glory days, which is still kind of sad, but what's more likely is it's just some person who's making stuff up. And yeah, it's just a bit sad. And yeah, I don't like it. You don't have to make stuff up. I think most people's lives are relatively boring. You don't have to be like, oh, I'm just this epic badass. Like, calm down, dude. In year six, these girls had a full-on fist fight over me. It was so funny. They forced me to watch them, though. But it was so funny having two people fight over me. God, these are just, like, heaps of responses. It was, but they would turn on me if I tried to walk away. It was funny, yet, like, torture at the same time. They did it every day for a week. I know it was the funniest, and another girl tried to stop the fight and asked me to go out with her. <laughs> I was young Johnny Depp and every girl just wanted to date me. It's icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. I don't like it because this is probably like a 50-year-old guy just reliving these times that didn't really happen, you know? And also, are they TikTok comments? Is that what that is? Ah, oh. and like you're so young in year six too. I just, I feel bad for people like this. I'm sorry. I'm never eating an edible again. I watched a whole movie on mute and started crying because I thought I was deaf. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> you know, like that's just something somebody thought up. They were like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if, like, I watched a movie and I didn't have the sound on and then, like, I just thought I was deaf. If that actually happened, I'd be really worried about you. I asked my daughter to season the chicken and look what she did. Haha, <laughs> spring, fall, winter, summer. <laughs> Oh, my kids are so funny, aren't they? Are you sure you didn't just do that just so you could make a funny Facebook post? See what I mean? It's kind of sad. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. I'm cutting onions. Me, crap, this onion is hot. Sniff. Is the onion going to make you cry, mum? Yeah. Mum, it's just the propanethyl S oxide in the onions that make you cry. The what now? Propanethyl S oxide. It makes you cry when you cut onions. Yeah, I know that. But is that the name of the chemical? Uh, yes. Uh, me. Googles. Um, how did my eight-year-old know the chemical compound in onions that makes you cry? Oh, because your eight-year-old is so much smarter than everybody else's eight-year-old. That's why. My kids are smarter than yours. <laughs> they know the names of chemical compounds. Oh, it's getting old at this point, isn't it? Look at me. My kids are smart. My first day at McDonald's. First 10 minutes of my shift, I was asked by the manager to clean the toilets. I said, screw you, mother fricker, and threw my tag in his face. Oh, what a hero. Then I dressed dragged him into the toilets and buried his face in the water and said, you like that, you little biatch? And I finished with, don't ever tell me what to do again. Got it. And lastly, I quit, by the way. Enjoy cleaning them yourself. What a imbecile. <laughs> it's literally your job. How entitled can you be? Oh, that makes me mad. Obviously, that didn't happen. And this guy's trying to act tough. But like, can you imagine if somebody did that? What a clown. Yeah, because it's their fault. Because they're just telling you what you need to do 
because it's your job to do that. And that's why they pay you. Oh, yeah, you mother fricker. That'll teach you for doing your job correctly. Uh, so tough, dude. So my 14-year-old told me that you can't catch a virus as they taught her at school for a whole term. Just before this scam, she got an A. She said that people are truly stupid. Yeah, because a school is going to give you an A for saying that you can't catch a virus. Ha ha ha. Oh. Stop using your kids to just try and push your own agenda, you know? Bloody sad. Probably don't even have a 14-year-old kid. But either way, a school's not going to give you top marks for just, yeah, denying science. Ha 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 ha. Bro, this virus is a scam. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. I just took a math final with this poster on the wall of the exam room. It has formulas on it that were needed in the exam. This poster got me an extra 10% on the paper. <laughs> really? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm tired. Let's do one more. The driver got arrested five times by the police because of this painting. <laughs> they just didn't, did they? If that is real, like, yeah, why would you do that? That's really weird. But like, if you got pulled over for that, they'd look in there and be like, oh, <laughs> that's not real. Obviously. And like the smirking little Mr. Bean face. Yeah, sure. I believe you. This one's a comment on a video of the Mario Kart music. No lie. When I passed my driver's test, I put Coconut Mall on my speaker and the whole DMV started dancing and vibing. Even the DMV employees. Sorry, but all I can think about right now is Paddy and Selma. Paddy and Selma just got promoted at the DMV? That was the best time to use this. The employees didn't even get mad at me. Everybody was laughing and having fun. Best way to get my license. Yeah, I've got a feeling that isn't true because just knowing people and knowing that if you just went into a DMV with an entire room of people that don't want to be there and then you start playing Mario Kart music, yeah, something tells me that they're not going to enjoy that. Last night I ordered a pizza with pepperoni, mushrooms, olives, onions and peppers and this is how it arrived. Maybe that happened but you'd imagine that if somebody worked at a pizza shop, they'd understand that this isn't what you meant and it still tastes fine. The olive slices might be a little bit strong. Do you reckon that actually happened or do you think this person just asked for that with this post in mind? They were like, okay, if I ask for it like this, I can make this post and put it on Reddit. I can get likes and awards. Yay. Oh, I have actual insight on this. Not me, but friends of mine who were missionaries in the Amazon in Brazil. You already know that this is a lie. And they came across a tribe that had no music. I don't know the name of the tribe. Well, one of my friends had brought their violin and was playing it. Some of my friends were talking to some villagers and the whole village suddenly grew quiet. Some had tears in their eyes just sitting in awe. They had to stop so that the villagers would sleep. Otherwise, they would have stayed up for I don't know how long just listening to it. And so many people like that. <laughs> oh, God. You know, like some friends of mine that were friends of their friends and their auntie, uncles, brothers, sisters, daughters. Yeah, they went to this place and introduced music to people. Yeah, you know what? Probably not. That's what this subreddit should be called. <laughs> Probably not. So I'm fighting the ticket and we're in court and the cop is on the stand and I say, I saw your car half a mile up the road. Why would I speed if I saw you sitting there? And he says, I don't know. I tell him that the ticket claims I was doing 85, but my car doesn't do 85. It's just an old junker that I'm lucky if I can get to 65 and not shake all over the place. He says, you were doing 85. And I say, how do you even know since you were on the phone the whole time? The jury all gasps. He says, I wasn't on the phone. And I say, that's not what your phone records show. And I pull out his phone records. I go Got it, and it shows he was on the phone with his girlfriend at the exact time that I drove by. The jury gasp again. I see a lady in the audience crying. It's his wife. He just starts stuttering. The jury says, not guilty. And people in the audience clap. I've beaten the system again. I saw the cop outside the courtroom arguing with his wife. They got divorced. She was hot. <laughs> I hooked up with her. <laughs> I hooked up with her and we were at a club a month later and saw him there. I could tell he was crying. I win again. <laughs> Sometimes on this subreddit, I can't actually tell if they're lying or not. But in this case, I am dead certain. That's the biggest load of crap I've ever read in my entire life. I totally beat the court case and then I hooked up with his wife. What are you saying? Were you just jotting down notes when you were watching a movie last night? You're not fooling anyone, dude. Today in Starbucks, when I play my 
order, I gave my name as Alpharius as a joke. When they called my name to pick up my order, I stood up and yelled, I am Alf. Is it Alpharius or Alpha Alpharius? No, nah, it's got to be Alpharius. Alpharius? Everyone turned to look at me. Then an old man sitting in the corner stood up and yelled, No, I'm Alpharius. Then one by one, everyone in the Starbucks stood up and yelled, I am Alpharius. Today's gonna be a good day. Yeah, it really is because we're laughing at your lies. Everyone in Starbucks just got up and said that, did they? Also, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce it properly. I tried to Google it, but it didn't come up. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are used to me not being able to pronounce stuff. But yeah, that didn't happen, did it, bud? And it's really not believable. I don't know why someone would try and make up a lie like this that so obviously didn't happen. One time a teacher gave me a D on an assignment, so I accidentally forgot to wear a bra. And after class, he let me know he got my grade mixed up, but it was actually an A. Ended up forgetting to be fully clothed every time we had a test and got 100 for the semester. What, because your teacher's a total perv? What are you talking about? Are you saying that you didn't wear a bra and because you didn't wear a bra, your teacher gave you better marks? That's really gross and really cringy and I don't think it happened. What's actually the point of that lie? My teacher's gross and he checks me out and I get better marks when I don't wear a bra? Ew! I was on a train in Spain when the news of Dr. Seuss's death was announced. Our whole car started singing the one fish, two fish verse in at least four different languages. Oh yeah, and then you all got up and did a musical, didn't you? And you recorded it and you're a genius and you're smart and you're amazing and beautiful. I barely even know what to say about these sorts of posts. Why do you feel like you need to lie about everything? And especially lies like this that aren't very impressive, you know? It's like, oh, cool. Moving on. <laughs> the first time I saw Beyonce was in the elevator of my building. My dad was talking to her. She said, you really don't know who I am? He said, wait, you seriously don't know who I am? She was dying. And she invited us to her 21st birthday party that night. There's no way Beyonce would ever say that. Wait, you don't know who I am? She's not like some actor that you've only seen one time. She would know that she was super famous. And the way that was written just makes it seem like Beyonce was just wandering around on her own somewhere. Just like found Beyonce in an elevator. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe they just really look like Beyonce. Or you're a liar. A female boss once said to me, I thought I hired someone with a brain as she stood at my desk. I just smiled. She said, why are you smiling? I said, I've been insulted better than that by my own mother. She retired not long after that. Just because you said that, you think that's why she retired. Are you insane? I bet you none of this happened. Either that or it did happen and she did retire. Obviously, she's not going to retire just because you said that, dude. Oh, people are so frustrating. Eight years ago, I made an appointment at my dentist and under what do you wish to be called, I wrote the chosen one and forgot about it. Today, I overheard the receptionist say, please let the doctor know the chosen one is here. They've been using it this whole time. Like, you guys know what I'm about to say, don't you? The stone cutters. He is the chosen one. It's just a birthmark, and I'd like it if you didn't stare. Mark. Oh, that. It's just a birthmark, and I'll thank you not to stare. He's the chosen one. But like, yeah, that didn't happen, did it, buddy? You made that up because you thought it'd be interesting and people would like it. We're on to you on the Vinci channel. We know what you're doing. But that is something I really do like about this subreddit. Like, most of this stuff is completely harmless. You know, like, these people make up some goofy lies. But, like, that's about it. But when we read the incels and the nice guys, like, <laughs> they're actually, like, pestering people and making people's days worse. Like, at least these people are just trying to get attention. My daughter was just playing with her dolls and brought this into the kitchen and threw it in the bin. I said, hey, what did you just throw away? This, she said, holding it up. My babies will not be getting any of this poison. There is hope for the next generation. Hashtag trash. Oh, that's sad. Making up lies that involve your kids just to push your own agenda? <laughs> that's no good, buddy. You might even say icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. Oh, here's another one. My two-year-old niece saw a bus of kids with their masks on. She asked me what why do they have masks on? I asked her, why do you think they're wearing masks? She says to me, so they can't talk. Let that sink in. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. That's so deep, dude. Whoa, they're trying to stop people from talking. We're becoming drones and robots. Listen, calm down. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. And this one definitely might've happened. Like I can imagine a kid saying that. Oh, so they can't talk. But I'm sure this is not what they meant. The parents are just making it super dramatic. Like, oh my God, that's so 
deep. Just let that sink in. My mind is blown. It's not that I'm sexist. I just remember a time when I held the door open for a girl and she began to scream and cry. You oppressive piece of garbage, she began to say. And when I tried to calm her, she kicked my way. I used self-defense and moments later she was on the ground. The cops were called and I'm writing this from prison now. It's not that I hate women, just a selective few. The ones who abuse the system and many of them do. What was that, a nice guy haiku? <laughs> it's not that I hate women, just a selective few. The ones who abuse the system and many of them do. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> Incel poems. Nice guy poems. Like the whole I'm writing this from prison. A random post on Tumblr. Yeah, I'm sure that's what you're doing, dude. And what point are you trying to prove here? That you don't like a selective few women? Okay. Like, I just feel like if you're in prison and you have an opportunity to use a phone or something, you wouldn't be writing posts on Tumblr. Like, actually think about a less necessary thing to do. I don't think there is one. If you had a list of important things, putting a post on Tumblr <laughs> is like at the very bottom. My mum thought my weed was seasoning and used it for cooking. My entire family is high and I've never been more amused. Oh yeah, because you have your weed sitting in your kitchen right next to your parsley. Do you have any basil, mum? Oh, here you go. All my weed. <laughs> and what everybody ate it didn't realise that it wasn't a spice or a seasoning. <laughs> and you're all just sitting around high. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to call BS on this one. What a load of hooey. Buying tampons. Cashier, would you like a bag? Me, no thank you. There is a very sketchy guy outside and I want him to know that I'm not the person to mess with today. Cashier legitimately scream laughed. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that legitimately happened. The person would have been like, oh, cool, yeah, bye. See ya. Thanks for coming. See you next time. And they're like, oh my god, I can make a lie around this. He said, thank you, have a nice day. That's pretty much the same thing as him legitimately scream laughing. Hmm, could somebody be lying? <laughs> no way. Yup, I remember. Haha, <laughs> this is actually how I lost my virginity. My mum forced me to say hi to her college friend and damn, she was one fine thing. We flirted like all day in front of my mum, lol. I took her to my bedroom at the end of the day to do you know what. I doubt 99% of kids in this subreddit know what I'm referring to right now. I just barely turned 18 at the time, by the way, so this was consensual. R slash that happened and R slash I have sex are gonna love you. Yeah, these ones are kind of sad because you know that they're not true. It couldn't be more obvious because they're trying so hard to seem cooler than everybody else, you know? Like, oh, I doubt 99% of kids in this subreddit know what I'm referring to. Come off it, dude. This did not happen. Like, bro, everybody's boring, you know? You don't have to feel bad about it, but I'd be worried if something like this actually did happen to you because how could you tell somebody and have them believe you, you know? All of this sort of stuff, everybody's just always going to assume that you're lying. But it'd be funny if it was actually true. So my daughter comes home from school yesterday. She's 12 and announces proudly that she just learned in science class that mercury was a deadly substance to human beings and then proceeds to say that she told everyone in the class that mercury or thimerosal was in our vaccines. Oh, here we go. Another one. Her teacher and students in her class argued with her until the teacher finally googled it and saw that she was right. She said everyone was pretty much shocked and the teacher apologized and sat in amazement looking at all the deadly and harmful substances in these vaccines and the teacher shook his head in disbelief and said, why though? It makes no sense scientifically to have those things in there at all. I'm so proud of my daughter. She just educated almost 30 people and changed their mind about vaccines. Oh, that makes me want to cry. <laughs> Imagine writing a lie like that. That definitely didn't happen about your 12 year old daughter. Just because of your ideas on vaccines. Obviously she doesn't give a damn about vaccines. She's 12. These sorts of people on Facebook that have these little wars and stuff. Like just calm down. Get off Facebook, you know? Like God, I can't even imagine like half of the stuff that these sorts of parents would say to their kids. If you can write a lie that involves your 12 year old daughter and you don't even feel bad, like that's pretty scary. I go to Starbucks so much that the other day the manager tried to hire me because so many of the younger workers won't show up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like I haven't done a video on this subreddit in a little while and it's making me remember how sad I feel when I read these. Lies are pretty sad when you think about it. Like I just picture the person sitting there writing this like, <laughs> I hope you're okay. My friend's toddler babbled, don't forget to subscribe as he was put to bed.
said, kid watches so much YouTube, he thought it means goodbye. Oh my God, I hope that's true. That's so funny. <laughs> Imagine if you're going to bed and you're like, night mom, night dad, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> I am having an impact on the world. <laughs> no, I bloody hope there aren't any people that young watching my videos. But like, that's the thing. If you are like a really, really young kid, like the sort of videos that you watch on YouTube are pretty crap. <laughs> like, let's be honest. And they probably would be saying like, subscribe, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit like. I know I say those things, everybody does. But those sorts of channels do it like an obnoxious amount. So like, maybe it's true. I doubt it, but maybe. One time I bought an illegal CD from someone in Greece. When I played it, it was 47 minutes straight of somebody saying, I'm a homeless man that just stole five euro from you. I'm a homeless man that just stole five euro from you. I was shocked, dismayed, and low-key impressed. I hope that happened. <laughs> that would be so funny if that was true. You know, I understand why these people make up these lies because they're funny and they're cool. And like, if that did happen, that would be funny and cool. And this is one of those ones that like could happen maybe, but there's like a 1% chance of it like not being a lie. So it's always going to seem like a lie. Or they're just trying to get some likes. I don't know. My son is eight and innocently asked me tonight, is Joe Biden American? Speechless. Using your kids in lies to talk about your political beliefs. Ah, oh. <laughs> makes me upset. And like, even if that happened, like there's no deep meaning to that, you know? Like, I don't think your eight-year-old kid cares about politics. My friend decided to turn lesbian a few weeks ago and today we were arguing about it and said, do you really want to be 50 and not have kids? Oh, I think I've read this one. It was like a light bulb went off in her head. Suddenly she was crying on the floor. I hope it's not too late to find a man, she said. Ah, oh. no, she didn't. <laughs> that didn't happen, man. And like, I have no doubts in saying that. Like, oh my God, yes, I made her, what, not a lesbian anymore? Because she would have, what, never thought about having children. And of course she said, I hope it's not too late to find a man. Yeah, that sounds like something somebody would say, totally. Not something that you want to happen. All right, guys, I think it's wholesome memes time. I flex on fools and get premium and spend over 100 bucks to fill up my truck. And they look in envy while they put five bucks of regular into their Toyota. And then I redline it around the corner and burn up the same amount of money that they just spent to get by because I'm a freaking boss. Oh my God, that's hilarious. You're flexing about how much fuel you put in your car? Bro, I don't think anybody cares. When I go to a petrol station, I don't look at people and be like, oh my God, they're getting so much fuel. They must be rich and really cool. No, not at all because I'm not crazy. Book fair economics, me. I'll give you $20 to spend at the book fair. My kid, can I buy three books? Me, probably not because there's going to be a tax. My kid, oh, is that because of Biden? Me, oh, maybe. I wish Trump was still president. Me too, bud. Me too. Yeah, these ones are especially sad. When you form a lie that involves your kids just to push your political stance on the internet, that's so icky. <laughs> you might even say, icky, icky, gross, gross, yuck. I tried to get my vaccine this morning, but my arms were too big for the needle and kept breaking it. The nurse was like, wow, these are the biggest arms we've ever seen. And we just had Dwayne The Rock Johnson in here last week. I guess I gotta take it easy in the gym. <laughs> yeah, that definitely happened. <laughs> this one's so ridiculous. It's like, they must be joking. Like, surely someone can't say that and be serious. Come on, man. When I was four, my dad got pulled over and I screamed, I have to poop! And the cop let my dad go. When he took me to the bathroom, my dad couldn't stop laughing after I told him I didn't have to go. I just didn't want him to get a ticket. Sure hope my kids return the favor. Like maybe that happened? Am I crazy for thinking that maybe that did happen? Nah, that wouldn't happen, would it? I just imagine like one of these isn't a lie. I can sort of almost imagine that happening, but not really. Yoko Ono on Twitter. My earliest memory is being in my mother's womb. What is 
is yours. Wow, incredible memory. <laughs> you remember that, do you? Strange. I, can't, I don't think you do. I can't tell if she's trying to be like super deep and meaningful or if she's actually being serious. Hey guys, my earliest memory is being in my mother's womb. What's yours? Yeah, okay. The most private thing I'm willing to admit. Okay, but now you owe me one. I once made a significant other orgasmo by doing nothing more than singing to her. No lie. <laughs> no lie. <laughs> and the way that he's staring into the camera. Bro, don't you dare start singing. Me, I don't have full body tracking. A random dude on VR chat. Yeah, because you're poor. I bet you play on a Quest 1. Me, sends him a picture of my setup. Random dude, logs off. <laughs> my VR setup is better than yours. <laughs> That's all you had to say. Hey guys, look at my awesome some VR setup. You don't have to make up a story. It's like when you post a picture of yourself online and you're trying really hard to not say that you look good. It's like, just say it. <laughs> you know, I'm feeling good about myself. I think I look good today. Here I am. People who got caught having you know what at work, what happened? I got caught in an elevator in the Empire State Building. My company has an office there and the receptionist was all flirty. So we ended up going extremely hot and heavy in the service elevator between floors. I had stopped it so we had time. Well, she was a uh, screamer and it echoed all through the elevator shaft and everyone applauded. <laughs> everyone applauded when it was done. They were actually cheering during it. Oh, this is sad. My boss back then yelled at me so everyone saw that and took me out for drinks. <laughs> we both continued to work there until we went different ways. Company was lax. I was making them serious coins as well. Oh, that's so terrible. Oh, I feel bad. Like, dude, that did not happen. And you're just sitting there making up this story. Yeah, the company was pretty chill because I was making them serious coin. All while I was sleeping with the receptionist in the elevator. And everybody cheered and took me out for drinks. One question. Was that written <laughs> by a 10-year-old? I remember there was a girl on her phone in a movie theater so I dumped my drink on her and her phone. The entire audience cheered for me and I got a thumbs up from the owner of the theatre. Oh, no, you didn't. And like, why do all these people say that everybody cheered for them? Nobody is ever gonna do that. You've watched way too many movies, dude. Everybody's not just gonna get up and give you a standing ovation and be like, oh my god, yes, well done, well done for ruining this girl's night and her phone. Like, maybe one guy would be like, oh yeah. But the entire audience cheering, that's a little bit different. I'm sure that happened. Oh my god, that's the name of the subreddit. Thank you for having me. Here's my story. I have memories of when I was one year old. One of the biggest memories I can remember was a traumatic one. My one and a half year checkup where I was given a combination vaccine. I went into seizure that night. My mother panicked. I remember how she was on the phone. They were telling her to give me Tylenol, which my mother refused to and I'm grateful for that. She took me into her arms and cradled me on the rocking chair. During that rocking, I had an out-of-body experience. See my body from above. I was in fear at first, but I felt overpowered by a peaceful feeling. With a light blue energy and light to the left of me, was given a message to tell them what happened to you. This is your task. And then I returned to my body. Are you seriously trying to be an anti-vax messiah? <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I am the chosen one. It is my life's duty to tell everybody on Facebook not to take the vaccines. Oh, you're joking. That was so cringe. <laughs> How could you ever expect anybody to believe that? Like, seriously. And it's so dramatic too. I was being rocked back and forward on the rocking chair and I had an out-of-body experience and a light blue energy to the left of you gave you a message. Get off Facebook, it's melting your brain. Okay, guys, that's enough lies for today. Let's check out some wholesome memes. Me in Walmart and a little girl comes up to me. Miss, you dropped something. Me, confused because I know I didn't. You dropped your crown because you're a queen. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> like, I'm so uncomfortable reading this sort of stuff because you know that they want that to be true so bad. And like, maybe it did happen, but I'm 
99% sure it didn't. Fishing license? <laughs> yeah, a few states here have that, but none enforce it. Had a man ask my grandpa when I was a kid if he had a fishing license, and my grandpa pointed at his Smith & Wesson on his hip. The ranger said, you all stay safe, and walked off. <laughs> yeah. Grandpa is very badass. As much as I'm sure they wanted that to be like a super badass moment, you're like, oh yeah, I live in an action movie. It was so dramatic. He just pointed at his gun and then the ranger just walked away like a coward. But if that actually did happen, that's such a childish thing to do. If your next door neighbor was smoking weed and it was stinking up your house every single day, what would you do? I've been in my flat less than a week and it's making me miserable. I changed my Wi-Fi router's name to Police Surveillance 2 and my iPhone hotspot as Police Surveillance 1. When I had a few bag heads living next door to me, suddenly they moved out. Really? Bro, it must have been a coincidence because who the hell would fall for that? You know, like I get it. It's a funny story and it's something that I could definitely imagine seeing reposted on Facebook. But it's also one of those things that's obviously not true. And also bag heads? Dude, people are crazy. And I love Love it. I had sex in a graveyard and I was walking around nude because it was like 80 degrees and I was all sweaty and it was like midnight or whatever. So this car rolls up out of nowhere and I'm stark freaking naked. I'm also white as hell. I glow in the dark. I make eye contact with the dude driving. I don't make a move to cover up or anything because I don't give a freak about being naked. I see his eyes widen with fear. He freaking books it out of there like a bat out of hell. And that's the story about how I became a ghost sighting in a small town in New England. Oh, that's funny. And I hope that's true. Also, like, public indecency, so probably not. But obviously, like, how disrespectful to do that in a graveyard. <laughs> Why would you ever do that? But to be completely fair, if I was driving past a cemetery and I saw a naked person standing there, <laughs> I would be flying out of there. Like, even just the thought of that is terrifying. Actually, I kind of hope that it's true, but also I hope that it's not true. It'd be funny if it was true, but I doubt it. Oh, one star. It was my first time here and a small foreign man yelled at me. After I told him that I never received my order, he proceeded to body slam me in the middle of the store. I pulled myself together and walked out. I decided to try again the next day and I ordered a milkshake. The girl who made my order made a majestic shake. When I told her I wanted a regular one. She grabbed me by my shirt and threw me across the counter. Will not be returning. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they literally threw me across the room. You just lost a customer. Like in the Flaming Moe's episode. You just lost yourself a customer, Mo. Force myself to what? Just from how calm this is, you know that it's not true. Imagine if you actually went somewhere and somebody picked you up by your shirt and threw you, especially if they did it for no reason. I'm pretty sure you would be more upset than this. Should I, 27 female, tell my boyfriend, 28 male, I had been pregnant before, even though I'm a virgin? My boyfriend and I are very religious and we believe in waiting for marriage to have sex. However, eight years ago, I was playing truth and dare with my friends and they dared me to get pregnant. I'm not one to chicken out from a dare, but I didn't want to go against my beliefs. So I went to a sperm whale bank and I underwent artificial insemination. Oh wow, this really is the solo diddly. <laughs> After giving birth, I gave the baby up for adoption. Should I tell my boyfriend about that? Don't feed the troll. Lots of trolls out this afternoon. Lol, 30 minutes ago you said that you wanted to teach your kids your native language. What are you doing, bro? Yeah, very good question. What are you doing, dude? I'm just happy that I got another excuse to say solo diddly. Thank you, Ned Flanders. Oh no, my dogs won't go near anyone that's been vaccinated. They sense something and they growl at them. I trust my dogs one trillion percent. I do not in any way, shape or form trust my government. Oh, what? Okay. <laughs> now they're bringing their pets into this. Trust me, I don't have 
have any actual evidence, but my dog definitely knows that there's something not quite right. Yeah, okay. Probably just smelt something. On my tube home from work today, half of us in the carriage were not wearing masks. I assume they also claim their legal exemption. We all exchanged cheery smiles and nods while the mask wearers looked wary and weary. Masks are doing untold damage to our society. Hashtag I'm done. Oh yeah, because when you're on the tube, people are all just smiling at each other. That's the one place that people are not smiling at each other. That's the place where everybody's just playing Tetris on their phone. But no, you need to make it seem like, oh, we're all better than everybody else. <laughs> it's so cringy. It's almost like the I am very smart subreddit. Like, oh, I'm just so much smarter and oh my god, all these morons and sheep everywhere. Okay. I am done with everything. I was crying in therapy and my therapist accidentally let out a laugh and apologized, but said, I'm sorry, but you look so cute when you cry. And that turned me on. I'm like, hell, I cannot do this anymore. I'm moving to Mars. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. And all the capital letters too. That's the most that happened thing I've ever seen. Like, no. <laughs> that straight up did not happen. I'm 100% certain. Worst therapist of all time. Some man just stopped his car today and said, you so fine. I just want to give you some money. Why did this man really give me $300 and then went about his business? Now listen, if that happened to me, I would not complain. But I just don't think it happened. I really don't. I'm sorry. Like maybe it did happen. Oh, hello random person. Here's my money. No, 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 no. That did not happen. They're using this as a humble brag for them to say that they're good looking. That's what they're doing. Because they don't want to be like, I'm so fine. They're going to make a story up that says some man stopped in his car today and said, you are so fine. I'm so attractive that there are literally people giving me $300 for no reason. Like, oh, it's so hard being so beautiful. That's 100% what they're doing. I got in a car crash because my friend was driving drunk and the car exploded. So they thought my body was burned, but I jumped out the window and rolled down the cliff before we crashed and they found me in the hospital three weeks later. Nobody knew who I was because I was in a coma for three weeks. So yeah, they weren't able to call my parents until I woke up and I told them my info and stuff. Fun times. What? <laughs> Just a random person on Discord? No way. That's so crazy. <laughs> you actually think that you could almost die in a car crash and then be in a coma for three weeks and your family just somehow wouldn't find out about it. Oh, hello, son. Where have you been for three weeks? We didn't even bother to check and we saw this car crash on the news, but, oh, you know, couldn't have been you. <laughs> Unbelievable. I remember when I told my three-year-old daughter that me and her dad are no longer together, I was crying and she wiped my tears and said, finally. I was shocked. She said, I used to hear you crying when I was in your womb. I know my father has never made you happy, so don't worry. I'm glad you guys broke up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the verdict on this one, guys? Do we think this is a lie? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Your three-year-old daughter is like super smart and super stoic and super wise. I used to hear you crying when I was in your womb. <laughs> Bro, when I was three years old, I could barely even function. My three-year-old daughter said to me in a Morgan Freeman voice, I used to hear you crying when I was in your womb. <laughs> yes, absolute BS. My 13-year-old daughter came home with a half sleeve tattoo. How would you handle this? I told her no. She did it behind my back. I'm so upset. No, she didn't. My wife just completed her half sleeve, which took five sittings over the course of the entire summer and cost nearly two grand. Even a simple half sleeve takes multiple sittings of at least a couple of hours each and costs a minimum of several hundred dollars into the thousands if the artist is any good and in demand at all. Not to mention, no artist is going to risk losing his license and possibly jail time in some jurisdictions for tattooing a minor without parental consent. So 
So either one, somehow an 8th grade girl saved up a lot of money, disappeared for hours at a time over the course of several months, and without you noticing the sleeve in progress, and found a completely irresponsible tattooist to do it, or two, someone drew it on her with a sharpie, or three, this didn't happen. Yeah, but like, I don't know, it could be like a backyard job. So many people would just get like their friend with a tattoo gun to do it, and maybe this person doesn't really know what a half sleeve is. I don't know, I wouldn't be too surprised if this one was actually true, but yeah, being 13 years old, going to a proper tattoo artist and getting an actual half sleeve, that's not very likely. People in the armed forces, what's the story behind your nickname? Blackout. I tend to black out and go in full rage mode while in live combat. I have 100 plus recorded kills using a pocket knife and I don't remember one of them. <laughs> oh, that's so cringy. With a pocket knife? <laughs> Oh, get out of here, for real. <laughs> that's literally like a 14-year-old kid that's seen too many movies. Bro, I am blackout. I tend to blackout and go in full rage mode while in live combat. I just don't think so. I really don't. I've read some books on, like, Navy SEALs and stuff, and they don't ever talk about using a pocket knife. It's all very calculated. Not like I tend to blackout and go in full rage mode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. I go to Starbucks solely to see the embarrassment in the eyes of the grown man who orders a low-fat iced latte frapp fru fru blah blah when he looks up and sees me taking a sip of my straight black coffee with no cream or sugar. Oh god, that's so sad. And by the way, dude, nobody is looking at you and thinking that. You don't look at somebody drinking a coffee and go, what? Oh, he's so manly. You're living a fantasy, dude. Today, I got detention for standing up for what I believe in. Teacher, write down three things that you dislike about yourself. Me sits there. Teacher, why aren't you writing? Me, I can't do this. I'll take a zero, sorry. Teacher, why? Me, because I refuse to promote self-hate. Because some people in the world can fill out 20 of these front and back with no blank spaces, and this can trigger someone. Teacher, you have to do it or I'm sending you to the office. Me, okay, gets up and walks to the office. Whoa! <laughs> I am very badass. These sorts of stories always make them look super cool, and that's how you know that they're a load of crap. My nickname was Blackout. I would black out and I would kill everybody with a pocket knife. I am a a badass. I was a freshman and I had no idea that the seniors banged with freshmen on the first day of class. I was outside for phys ed and there was cheerleader tryouts going on. These girls were way cuter than the girls I remembered from middle school. Anyway, I was warming up when suddenly one of the seniors came up behind me and yanked my shorts down, underwear and everything. All the pretty girls were staring at my ding dong and saying things like, like, oh my god, it's so big. <laughs> and holy crap, that's the biggest ding dong I've ever seen. They immediately ran over to me and started <laughs> rubbing my ding dong in front of the whole class. It was so embarrassing. Yeah, so either this person is absolutely taking the piss or they've watched way too many videos on a certain website because that did not happen. It's just like what we were saying in the last post. Oh my god, his ding dong was so big. <laughs> like, I'm such a hero. I'm so cool. I'm ripped and rich and I've got a huge ding dong. This is just something a teenage boy would make up 100%. So I came home late from a night shift to find this note from my seven-year-old son on my bed. He's more of a man than some 30-year-olds. Hashtag mum, hashtag cute, hashtag notes. Okay, so this is meant to be from a 
seven-year-old. Dear mummy, I'm so proud of you for being so strong and slaying all day every day. Daddy was an idiot for letting you go. P.S. I made you a Play-Doh heart with our initials. I love you, mummy. Eric XOXO. I would be very impressed if a seven-year-old wrote that. Dude, I'm 22 years old and I still can't write that well. And that nice little flick on the end of the Y on mummy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like they didn't write this. It's just a little hunch I have. Something told me that mummy wrote this about themselves. My cat left a smiley face of kibble in her bowl this morning. Yeah, I don't think that happened. <laughs> like maybe, but I don't think so. Why would the cats leave food like right in the middle? I don't know. Seems like a bit of a setup to me. I started dating this girl from my college. She brought her to my mum's house on Halloween night. Her mum sent her to the store without me, suggesting I stay. So I did and five minutes later we're banging. What do I do? Oh bro, come on. <laughs> Basically this entire subreddit is people just making stuff up to make themselves seem cool. Dude, this is just like a fantasy that you had, dude. But what do I do? I don't know. Stop a lying, maybe. My five-year-old niece was asked to write down her daily routine and I couldn't relate more. One, wake up. Two, stretch. Three, have a moment. And then busy. Ha ha ha. Yeah, that was definitely written by a five-year-old. These kind of make me sad. Why are you making this stuff up? Are they just trying to get likes? I think that's the only thing to it. Maybe if I make something up, I will get a whole bunch of likes on Twitter or Facebook. But they're so obviously not true. When I was younger, I absolutely hated this song. I hated it so much I jumped out of a moving car to get away from it. Now I find the song decent at best. However, this is a great cover. Better than the original. Yeah, a lot of people lie in YouTube comments. Like, it's really, really common. Just making up stories that didn't happen. Who are you trying to impress, dude? Unless you actually did jump out of a moving car to get away from a song, which is just really stupid. <laughs> Unless everybody in the car was just forcing you to listen to it and they wouldn't turn it down. Otherwise, jumping out of a moving car to get away from a song isn't a very good idea and I wouldn't really brag about it. So, like, maybe it is true? I don't know. I ran the 5k in 10 minutes. Training is going good. The world record is 12 minutes. Well, there you go. Rob here just broke the world record. Actually, I don't think it was 5 kilometers <laughs> and it might not have been 10 minutes. I wasn't really counting. It just sort of felt like 10 minutes. Either that or Rob's training really is doing good. God, I hate when I'm buying Magnum condoms at the 7-Eleven and the clerk is like, damn, you again? Ain't you the one that by the 12 pack last night? Bro, chill. Ha 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 ha. Oh, it's so tiring, honestly. I think we should do one more, guys. A random photographer caught these shots while I was down at the beach during sunset without me knowing. Gotta love the magic of unintentional spontaneous photo shoots. Ah, yes, spontaneous and unintentional. Who words that definitely don't describe what's going on here? Standing and sitting in the most intentional ways of all time. You know, I just pose wherever I go. Yeah, that really didn't happen, did it? And like the worst part is they could have just captioned that. I had a lovely time at the beach and it would have been fine. You don't need to lie. You don't need to pretend. You don't need to act like it's spontaneous. Just because you didn't know the photo was being taken doesn't make the photo any better. Such a weird thing that's going on and a lot of people do this. Yeah, it's wholesome memes time, guys. If you ever feel embarrassed, just remember I had to stay an extra two days in the hospital because my doctor was sexy AF and my heart rate jumped too high every time he entered the room. The nurses monitored me sneakily and told me that they knew. Oh, no, they didn't. <laughs> you know, like I am a fairly gullible person, but I'm not going to fall for this. By the way, if somebody is watching the video right now and I read one of their posts out, I'm sorry because I know that sometimes stuff that actually sounds unbelievable actually did happen. But I feel like
like we're pretty safe. The nurse who took the picture said, It's been three days since this patient arrived in hospital for treatment, and during these three days, nobody in his family came to ask about his well-being. Maybe he lives alone. But a pigeon comes every two days and sits in his bed for a while and goes away. Later, it was discovered that he sat on the park bench daily and feeds the pigeons. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so sad. You mean to tell me that this guy and the pigeons were such best friends that the pigeon finds whoever this person is at a hospital somewhere that's a long way away from where the pigeon was? Should we be worried about pigeons? Like, that's way too smart. Come on, dude. Wake up and feed me already. My 17-year-old son got pulled over by a cop on his electric bike yesterday and this is how it went. Officer, you know I could give you a ticket, right? My son. I don't think so, officer. <laughs> Imagine actually saying that to a cop. Oh my god. Officer, how come? My son. For crime to exist, there has to be an injured party. No, there doesn't. <laughs> what? Can you please show me, sir, who did I injure or who is filling a claim? Officer, have a nice day, son, and stay safe. My son, same to you, officer, and thank you for upholding your oath of office. Wow, yeah, that never happened. Oh my god. I love that. Your son is so smart and so respectful. You're raising a fine, upstanding American patriot. Raising him right. Yeah, I'm just gonna read the top comment because that basically says everything. That's a laughably untrue. Drunk driving doesn't require an injury for a conviction. Hell, you can get slapped with an attempted murder conviction if you shoot at someone and miss. Furthermore, nobody files a claim in criminal law. Not only does the poster have a hilariously poor grasp of what constitutes a crime, but can't even distinguish between criminal and civil law. <laughs> there you go. Probably didn't happen. I was told by someone I dated, your independency is too damaging to my fragile male ego. Hashtag why I'm single. Yeah, that doesn't doesn't sound like something that somebody would say though. <laughs> so they probably didn't say it. Oh damn it, I did it again. I left the house with two different shoes on. Yeah, I just don't see that happening, like ever. There's way too much involved with like putting those sorts of shoes on for you to not realize what you're doing. But like it doesn't even look bad. So like I can see why they did it. But yeah, I feel like it wasn't an accident. My eight year old is learning Python and after a dealing with a syntax bug she asks, if the computer knows I'm missing a semicolon why won't it add it itself? I don't know. I really don't know. Ah yes the old my child is smarter than yours. Like what was your child doing when they were eight? Nothing. Well mine is learning to code. Ha 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 ha. We are smarter than you. I don't know anything about coding but people in the comments are saying that Python doesn't even need semicolons. So yeah, that one definitely didn't happen. An actual recent conversation. Hmm, yeah, I already doubt that. Teenage boy trying to be cool and impress the teenage daughters. Boy, your dad plays Dungeons and Dragons. Daughter, yeah, boy. What a dork. Daughter, shrugs. And Magic the Gathering. Boy, sounds like a total nerd. Okay, let me guess. So this is going to make the person look like an absolute hero? I bet you it is. These all go the exact same way. Daughter. Excuse me. Boy. Your dad sounds like a loser. Daughter takes the big pre-explosion breath. Me coming around the corner. Maybe. But I'm also a marine. Ranked in three martial arts, a semi-competitive shooter, and a competitive power lifter about to break break several world records. <laughs> oh, this is sad. You're impressing teenagers. In short, I'm strong AF. So the next words out of your mouth need to be taking your leave followed by an exit. Boy, mumbles an apology and leaves. 
just me. Sorry if you liked him, but he was a D-bag daughter. That was awesome. Oh, this one makes me sad because even if that did happen, that's more sad than if it didn't happen. Like, oh yeah, I'm impressing teenagers. <laughs> okay. I was scanning the QR code at the SM and a male decides to tell me in a loud voice that there goes your privacy. So I decided to yell at him to frick off. I shocked myself and everyone clapped. Oh, everyone clapped, did they? Nobody ever does that. <laughs> you know, like people aren't just gonna break out into a round of applause if you do something. You notice how none of these stories actually make the person look bad? They always make them look like the hero of the story. And that's usually a good sign that it didn't happen. I remember there was a date auction in my high school and me and my friends thought it was creepy and lame. So we stuffed the ballot boxes to nominate me and when they brought me up on stage to auction me off, I did a strip tease down to my panties. As far as I know, they haven't done it since. What? <laughs> I hope that's not true. Wait, you stuffed a ballot box for an auction? <laughs> What's going on here? Albert Einstein once wrote on a blackboard. Okay, so first of all, no, he didn't do what we're about to read. I can already tell you that. I don't think I've read an Albert Einstein quote that he actually said. Like, God, people make up some crap. Nine times one equals nine. Nine times two, 18. Three, 27. Four, 36. Five, 45. Six, 54. Seven, 63. Eight, 72. Nine, 81. 10, 91. Suddenly, chaos broke out in the classroom because Einstein had made a mistake. Obviously, the correct answer to nine times 10 is not 91. And all of his students mocked him. Einstein waited for everyone to remain silent and said, Despite the fact that I correctly analyzed nine problems, no one congratulated me. But when I made a mistake, everyone started laughing. This means that even if a person is successful, society will notice their slightest mistake and they'll like that. So don't let criticism destroy your dreams. The only person who never makes a mistake is someone who does nothing. Yeah, he definitely never said that and I'm ready for wholesome memes, guys. Listening to new music. This song. It's been 84 years. I finally found new music. Yeah, how good does that feel though? Seriously. Like, oh my God. I know that this is going to be the song that I listen to on repeat for two weeks straight. When you and your bestie have a sleepover and you stay up all night talking. Oh yeah, they're some of my fondest memories for sure. And you're not even talking about like anything really, but <laughs> it's always so cute. Your crush finding out that you like her too. You finding out that your crush likes you too. Oh, <laughs> I hope you guys have a beautiful relationship. Okay, that's gonna do it guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed reading some more lies today. That was really fun. I'm gonna make sure I don't forget about this subreddit next time. I wanna make regular videos on this. It's so good. It's really addictive to read stuff when people are just making it up. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Today's comment of the day goes to John. Am I addicted to Vincey videos? Yes, but we just aren't going to talk about that. <laughs> First of all, John, thank you for watching my videos. I really appreciate it, and I'm so happy that you enjoy them. And also, as far as an addiction goes, that's a pretty good one. Okay, guys, have a beautiful rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.